Skeleton. Skeleton.
Yes. The fade out. Uh, Endymion, thank you. Just now for the 33 whole years. Let me scroll down a bit. Head in the clouds, thank you for the follow. Sean the Critic, thank you for the follow. 4D, 3D, 3D, 3, double underscore, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Uh, Frog Race has been redeemed. Let's just press that button. Place your bets. Zero eight thousand four hundred and fifty one. Thank you for the six whole years. What is this image? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> thank you, Kaku Epsilon. Freddy Lux, thank you for the 1985 whole years. The bet disappeared! Oh my god, it's even more rigged than I realized. More like Moose on D's nuts, ha 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 ha, Gotham. Somebody shoot that guy. Actually, hold on, I got it. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, I can shoot him. Check this out. He's dead. He's dead for 78 seconds. He will never financially recover from this. Alright, 51% of the bet on Kierkegaard. Scrunkly Bingus, 22%. Best of luck, everyone. Mike was never seen again, at least for 78 seconds, which really isn't that long. They're all pretty close to the line! Who's gonna get there first? Hannibal gets there first. Only 9% of the bet was on this frog, which means that the very few of you that did bet are about to get paid. Dramavian! Thank you for the seven whole years. How many of you even bet on this frog? Probably like five people. Oh, it's ten people. 203,000 new yen given to all ten of the lucky winners. Congratulations to you all. My condolences to everybody else. You made 10k off your 1k bet. Let's fucking go. You love to see it. Sometimes it pays to pick the one that's, like, got the smallest odds. Like, on purpose. You missed the start of the stream because you were distracted by a VOD. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, hello, everyone. Oh, no, I'm sorry, boss. Well, I can do another frog race if you want. Just for you. For you, Rocket. Anything. Yeah, you got a bonus frog race. Just because I'm feeling pretty good today. Just press the button again. <laughs> no, I was drinking. Uh, I mean, yeah, I was muted, but that's because I was taking huge gulps of water, and no one needs to hear that. Anyway, 38% on Dovstoyevsky. 22% split between Hassy and Hypnotoad. Best of luck, everyone. Start the frog race! Okay. Okay, wait a minute, they're all even? Frog number one goes first, doesn't make it! Hypnotoad wins the race by one singular frame, it would seem. By the slimmest possible margin, as Hypnotoad claimed victory this day. Pay it out to frog number two. 
337,000 new yen given to 18 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 18 of you. May the rest of you have better luck next time. We have to press the poem button as well. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? My dream. It takes place in the white room and back. The plaster walls echo sound. The brown wood floor is cold and solid beneath my brown bare feet. Oh, it's the feet one. This place was a nursery before. Now it is empty, save the hollow sound of my voice. It's a bad omen. We got the feet poem. <laughs> Hi, hello, everyone. You're down 20,000 new yen 12 minutes into the stream. I'm so sorry. Uh, I was in a mashing buttons mood. For the past three streams, we've been playing a game where we don't have to press very many buttons. Interstate 76, but a car-based Masuo. A Masuo, that is a good question. Or that is a good, uh, that is a good idea, rather. Well, I should do that. I don't think we're in danger of running out anytime soon, Skeleton Manners. <laughs> he was reading a mystery film script. I told myself that whenever I had the itch to press a shit ton of buttons, that I would just play whichever Muso happened to be next in the lineup. This happened about seven months ago, apparently, with Dynasty Warriors 2. And it happened about three months ago, according to my VODs, for Dynasty Warriors 3. So I guess it's been about that long. Feels as good a day as any, because we just played Monster Seed for three days in a row, and I'm in the mood to mash. I'm in the mood to press every button on my controller. We're going to play some Dynasty Warriors 4 today, a.k.a. Shin Son Goku Muso 3. This is one I'm not super familiar with. Dagger Joe! They were the 20 whole gift subs. Jesus Christ. Thank you. That's incredibly kind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dagger Joe. Dagger Joe just shows up, doesn't say anything, drops a gift sub bomb, and refuses to elaborate. It's very, that's a dangerous man right there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 4, I'm not super familiar with. Dynasty Warriors 5 is probably my all-time favorite one, and we gotta get through this one to get to that one at some point in the future. It's to my understanding that this one has storylines based on the entire, like, kingdoms, as opposed to individual characters. I don't really know what that entails, because I'm not familiar with this. So I guess we're gonna find out together, as a team, as a family. Let's play the video game. I mean, it's Dynasty Warriors. How hard could it be? You just run around, mash the square button a bunch. Can't be that bad. <laughs> Used to play the triangle in the symphony, but you quit. You couldn't deal with it. It was one ting after another. Somebody shoot that guy. <laughs> it's up, Bans. You had to rent the base game. Yeah! This was when the Extreme Legends spin-offs were in full swing. This was also the first one to get, um... This was the first one to get an Empires spin-off, right? I think this was the first one. Games don't have riffs like this anymore. Koei ones do. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> the year was 2003. Oh lord, that was 20 years ago. This is a game that we, for whatever reason, have to run in software mode, because it really doesn't like being upscaled. 
I had considered putting uh, in a cheat code to unlock all of the characters, but A, it's all based on, like, Kingdom anyway, so we can swap characters around amongst the ones that we have. And B, there doesn't seem to be any functional cheat codes for this game anywhere. Despite there being a bunch of them listed on the internet and such, none of them seem to actually work. So we're not going to sweat it too much. So yeah, it seems like we can choose a kingdom. Like, we're probably going to go way here, because when we played Dynasty Warriors 2, we picked Zhao Yun, who was in the Shu kingdom. And then when we play Dynasty Warriors 3, we picked Gan Ning, who is, uh, Wu. We've not played anyone on Wei yet. So I guess this is the plan. We don't have many options. We do have Zhao Dun. We've got Jonathan Eyepatch himself. He's pretty cool. We've got Cao Cao, who I can't be bothered to play. Xiao Yuan. I think in future games he was given a bow and arrow as his main weapon, but I don't think that happened yet. So it's gotta be him. <laughs> it's gotta be Xiao Dun. Act 1, a hero of chaos. Yeah, surely this time Wei will win. Lubu Wen? You want me to play as the boss character? That doesn't sound very the interesting. The Empire is crumbling! Bring in the age of the way of peace! This can't be. Look at them, brother. They level the villages with impunity. This isn't a new Man. age. This is utter chaos! But also... An interesting opportunity for you, cousin. Indeed, chaos can be a powerful ally. <laughs> First, I shall quell this rebellion, so my name shall be Fear. Army, forward! <laughs> the Yellow Turban Rebellion, yeah. The Han Dynasty, long the center of power, suffers from internal strife and corruption. In response to this oppression, numerous uprisings began to surface across the land. Led by their leader, Zhang Jiao, the followers of this religious sect known as the Way of Peace rise up in protest to the corruption besieging the land. This revolt came to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion, due to the yellow scarves worn around the heads of Zhang's followers. In response to this dire situation, the Imperial Court sends out a call to arms across the land, raising an army under the command of General Hei Jin to combat the Yellow Turban threat. Amongst these brave warriors gathered from across the land, the face of the talented and ambitious Cao Cao can be seen. Ooh, branching paths? Ooh, this is new. What do I want to do? Hmm. They're all Han versus Turbans. Yellow Turbans have surrounded Sha Pi Castle. Defeat Zhang Liang. Dispel Zhang Bao's sorcery. Take down the Yellow Turban Fortress. Defeat the Yellow Turban leader Zhang Jiao. Bring an end to their rebellion. Do I just pick one or can I do all of them? The bottom one's always the main one that'll end the chapter. I see, I see. Well, let's do, like, one other one first. Let's try this. Does completing the other ones make the bottom one easier? Because we're going into this one with not too much knowledge. Yeah, there's a change character button. We can just swap around, presumably, as we go. Set bodyguards. <laughs> Unit. Oh, yes, I get to change my dudes. Kevin and Arnold, yeah? I. <laughs> yeah, give me Kevin and Arnold. That's what I want. I don't know how they got to China. That's fine. 
What are my objectives? Just defeat Zhang Liang. I have to defend Huang Fu Song. I can do that. All right. Put me in, coach. <laughs> this is funny already. They were always there. Insufferable rogues. All units, engage the enemies outside the castle walls. Yes. We will wipe out the enemy at the west Do not fall behind. So this game added charge two attacks. Where if you press square, square, and then triangle, these are now mashable. And they usually create a dizzy. I think this game also added command grabs? If I'm not mistaken, some characters have one. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if Shao Dude has one. This game has jumping charge attacks. Yeah, I don't know if that was a thing previously. Yeah, I know that Xu Zhu has a command grab in this, which is pretty sick. He should, if anyone. <laughs> Stealing your horse, goodbye, friend. Yeah, gotta have huge amounts of butt rock for <laughs> for the romance of the three kingdoms. I wonder if the Dynasty Warriors movie was any good. It's to my understanding that that's a real thing that happened within like a few years, like twenty twenty one ish. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I assume it's quite dank. Oh, <gasps> that's right. If we press R3, we get like an unblockable. Yeah, we get like an unblockable <laughs> burst move. How would it stand out from the 60 other Romance of the Three Kingdoms movies? Well, you see. If it just looks like Dynasty Warriors, where there's just inexplicably a million dudes that he has to go through. And then he hijacks an elephant, and then they stomp a bunch of guys. Right? Did this game do parries as well? Out an officer. I did, it did have parries. Yeah, yeah, you hold block and you press triangle. If it's right when you get attacked, you do like an automatic counter. Oh no. I can't rely on these regular mooks to attack me at the right timing though. Let's take out all the officers nearby. Now, Dynasty Warriors 2 and 3, we had a pretty hellacious time with. 2 in particular was harder than I remember. Because these games have gotten a bit easier as the strength of the character has gone up. And then 3, we were a bit more prepared for it. This is on emulator, Solidus. Yeah, archers might still be a threat, I'm not sure. I know that when we whip the bow out, we can now spin in a full circle. Which was not possible previously. It could only be in. <laughs> you used to be. That you can only turn in like a. I don't know, like a 180 cone from what direction you started bow mode in, but now you can just spin wherever the fuck. No, Simon! They say that the strongest warrior in China is lurking around these parts. 
I don't know how much stock I put in these rumors, but regardless, if you run into him, remember this one thing, do not pursue Greg Johnson. Do not pursue Greg Johnson. Where are my bodyguards, even? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Go get them, boys. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Have I ever played Beyblade V4 Super Tournament Battle? I haven't. The only Beyblade game I have played is Beyblade for the PS1. Which admittedly rules, despite the fact that that game's got approximately zero content in it. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Yo, Otori, thank you for the follow. Why are our bodyguards called Arnold and Kevin? What do you mean? What's the problem? They're just normal Chinese names. The three kingdoms tremble before Blast Hard. <laughs> Blast Hard Cheese! I don't see the problem. They're just normal. They're just normal names that people would have back, like, circa the year 200 AD in China. 70 bits, oh boy. Heavens, save the children of the yellow turban. Strike down those that do us harm. Ah, uh, the lightning attack, the rain, yes. Zhang Liang sorceries called forth a rainstorm. What of it? I too shall join the battle. Oh no! Wait, you're my lose condition. I have to cover you. Oh, God. We gotta stick with our boy before he does something stupid. An enemy ambush party has appeared from the heavy rain. Dubstep Paladin. Oh, shit, it's Dynasty Warriors 4 Double Stuff Tell, and Mr. Please is playing as my favorite character on a Friday night. Life is bloody marvelous right now, a eh, chumless. Thank you, Dubstep Paladin. If I'm being honest, I don't care. I don't care too much for Shaho Dune. He's never been a favorite of mine. But of the three choices I had for a way officer, I like him the most. Well, that's so. That's the play. <laughs> You're dead to me forever. Unsubscribing. He's all right. I'd like to just take the horse if at all possible. We're kind of we're just huddling around this horse. They really don't want me to take this horse. Did you think you could break through our forces? There we go. Just let me in. Let me in so I can cover my fucking lose condition guy. Oh, sick lightning, dude! Hard at work, boys, or hardly working? Understood. <laughs> that is not a breakable. Gotcha. Ah, there's my guy. Let me make sure he doesn't die. Looks out, so my favorite way officer to play as is Shuju. <laughs> Without question. Got some Croto lock. Whoop. There it is. Make sure I don't miss the item that I'm trying to grab from the guy. I doubt he'll have trouble dealing with these mooks, but you gotta idiot-proof this shit.
Yeah, he's got a command grab. He's got a giant, like... He's got a giant ball on a stick. That's what he fights with. <laughs> he's just got a huge home run club. Horse? Thank you. The horse was unwilling. I would like to locate some kind of a breakable box that has a meat bun in it. But it seems to have a very low spawn rate on this map. This'll do. Alright, we're living. That's all I needed, baby. Let's go do something really stupid and go straight up the middle. Horse? <laughs> Alright. Observation one about this game. Getting on a horse is difficult, for some reason. Yeah, just like in real life. I've never mounted a horse before in real life. It is to my understanding there's like a swinging motion you're meant to do with your legs in order to like get up there because they're quite tall. Oh, I thought this was going to be Falling Rocks. Flame Geysers! Interesting. We build weapon experience for combos. Interesting. So we're not, we don't just, like, get new weapons, then. We level up the ones we have. That is more... That is a more interesting mechanic. But it seems like the combo only counts for when we hit the same guy multiple times. Like, just swinging around wildly in a group of dudes that doesn't seem to award us with, like, combo points. kind of officers do we got around here? Just got normal mooks. Thankfully no archers around here. That could be considered a blessing. I'm sure we're gonna get roasted by archers at some point today, as is tradition. Mercifully few of them in the yellow turbans. It's combos after five hits. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Jotai, the incredibly, like, out-of-place samurai. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Young Shane's morale is dropping. Honestly, not my problem. I guess we need to avoid these geysers. They don't look that dangerous. Try to parry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sick! Love a good parry mechanic. The only one you played is eight. Eight's pretty good. Oh no, now there's archers. Now I am perceiving the archers. Oh, God. Let me just get them off screen. Yeah, eight's good. Eight is also... Uh, depending on who you ask, the last of the, like, normal ones, because apparently nine is, like, really weird. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Wanderdrong, thank you for the follow. Overall, I'd say Dynasty Warriors 5 is my favorite one, though. And if we're 
counting spin-offs, I'm also a huge fan of Five Empires. I can't tell you how many hours I've dumped into Dynasty Warriors Five Empires, specifically on Xbox 360. I don't know, the Empires games are just very replayable. Hyrule Warriors? Uh, Hyrule Warriors is good. When I think of Warriors games, I don't think of the licensed ones. I think of, like, their actual ones. Very good. Yeah, I get to watch the replay! Yeah, Samurai Warriors. I was actually going to play Samurai Warriors 1 today, but I looked at the timeline of uh, Koei's, you know, gameography, and this came out before Samurai Warriors 1 did. So I was like, alright, fuck it, we'll do Dynasty 4 first. <laughs> Maybe next time we do this, we'll play Samurai Warriors 1. <gasps> Poison Orb! I've obtained the orb. Is it Dynasty Sember? No, this is very much I got the Muso itch today. And so we're playing the next one in the series. It's happened a few times. Here's a handful of times I got the Muso itch. Huh? Dagger Joe again? They were the 20 gift subs. They were the 40 gift subs uh, today. 690 subs in the channel. Nice. Very good. Yeah, we played Mystic Heroes. Welcome this, to the, the screenshot people. is just Get for uh, screenshots just for Dynasty Warriors. Uh, go watch those if you want to watch 2 and 3, respectively. Thank you, uh, Pair of Salamanca. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Dagger Joe, for the 20 additional gift subs. So I guess we'll try and play through the entire way story today. See how long that takes. Cao Cao's army defeats Zhang Liang, drives back the Yellow Turban forces. Thanks to this victory, Cao Cao's name spreads throughout the land. He's referred to by his peers as a hero of chaos. In response, the Yellow Turban forces take up a defensive position within Zhang Bao's fortress in hopes of repelling any further attacks by the Imperial Army. Meanwhile, the leader of the Yellow Turban, Zhang Zhao, continues to gather his forces for the final battle. Oh yeah, let's skip to the end of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. I don't think we unlocked anyone else. Yeah, okay. I wonder if they power up with you. I wonder if the game expects you to hop around a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about it too much. The lore, all you need to do is hit this little objectives button, and then just do what it tells you to do. And you're good, baby. <laughs> that way there's like ten, there's way more than ten. Unleash your rage, my chosen children! Unleash your rage upon the Hon, and bring forth the Age of the Yellow Turbans! Cow Cow will penetrate enemy Cow lines Cow. in the east, while Sun Jian attacks from the west. Mm. The volunteer forces will break through the middle and join the other two forces. These are some good voices. <laughs> Must be Zheng Bao's short sword. They are called Zheng Liang! <laughs> This game of magic on oh, I think that was this game. No. No, no, no. I think that was three. I think three has the bulk of this series' legendary voice acting. 
<laughs> you just go right into the middle of a group of everyone. You just start hitting the goddamn attack button. I am very smart. You just go straight into Dixville. Cool clash mechanic, big fan. Dagger Joe, give to the sub to Draco's on. Yeah, thank you very much, Dagger Joe. Uh, yeah, Dagger Joe, give it nine more gift subs. <laughs> Rounding it out to an even 700. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you. Ooh, what a sweep. A big battle. What about you challenge me with trickery? But I don't believe in Maggik. <laughs> Maggik. Muso full for 10 seconds. Say less. Here I go. Chopping back and forth. Make sure Kevin makes it out of this, yeah. I'm in trouble at the moment, but we almost got Bojang. I have definitely overextended. I should have equipped my poison orb in hindsight, but... A little late for that now. <laughs> yeah, the poor, if you will. Blocking's a lot easier in this game, mercifully. Arnold! Marry me with my I'm gonna run for my life. Kevin and I used to live a pretty normal life. But then the wacky inventor next door invented a time machine and now me and my buddy are trapped in ancient China. <laughs> and all before I could ask my high school crush out on a date. <laughs> I would watch that movie. You just invented the movie of the year for me. Just two bros that accidentally end up in ancient China. Dude, he didn't even get to ask. Didn't even get to ask Heather to the dance. We must not fall behind. <laughs> I've taken out an officer. Yeah, the proms tomorrow, dude. Well, I mean, now the proms like 1,800 years from now. We must not fall behind. So I, you've got plenty of time. is a very very subtle jam for Dynasty Warriors. This is not in my face but rock. This is like a much more chill song that is playing. Weirdly so. <laughs> it's soul rock. Can't kill a regular troop with a combo. Things have definitely changed over the years with the Muso series. Nowadays, you can kill a whole group of dudes in, like, one combo string. Kill a whole wave of enemies. In this game, especially on a low level, takes several hits to kill anyone. Have I tried Dynasty Tactics? Is that the PSP one? I may be misremembering. Unless you're talking about Kessen, but I don't think you are. P 
PS2 game. No, I don't think I have. Although, Kessin rules. We'll definitely get to Kessin at some point. <gasps> Liu Bei! It's all three of them! Captain Old type. Thank you for the 22 whole years. <laughs> the goons have gone up in quantity. Our main character's gone up in quality. That is true both ways, yeah. That is exactly what happened with this series. The farther into the future you get, there's more dudes, and they're easier to kill. Hello. I would say that Dynasty Warriors 5 is probably the start of that, though. Dynasty Warriors 5 is probably the first one where you feel like you can take on a whole army by yourself. 2, 3, and 4, not exactly as much. You kind of have to stay with your dudes to some degree. If you overextend, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors 5 is probably the start of that, I would say. This is weirdly relaxing for the scope of the conflict we are currently in. Thought I was playing Drakengard 1 for a second with how long it took me to get from one enemy wave to another. Yeah, they started saying the names right, and then they just stopped dubbing them in English. It's alright. The English voice acting peaked at Dynasty Warriors 3. Like, it was never gonna get any better than that. Whew. My parries, though. He's not biting. I mistimed it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they absolutely have a formula. Dynasty Warriors, they had the, the format figured out with Dynasty Warriors 2. And they never really deviated from it either. They've made the, you know, they've made it feel better, just in general. Feels better to mow down waves of guys. But the overall, you know, gameplay, it's been... It's been this from the beginning. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the movesets have gotten more robust over time. This one's still got some very good voice acting. You don't use the boob set, you just press square, yeah. I mean, that works too. As long as they die and you don't, really. Do I feel that power? I sure do. <laughs> yeah, magic is real sometimes. Magic in Dynasty Warriors is fake. Until it's Zhuge Liang doing it, and then it's real. What is this wind? Get me out. He 
Yeah, the yellow turbans are generally, to the you know, magical yeah, officers. Gallant and Beast thing for the follow. <laughs> they can generally cast spells and such. I don't know how accurate that is to real life. I've never met any of them. But I have no reason to believe they can't create fire from the earth. I've taken out an officer. You know, it could be real. <laughs> we must not fall behind. Yeah, that makes <gasps> sense. I saw an arrow whiz past my head. Oh, they're on the tower, I see. They're up top. I'm sorry, I have a date with this crate. Never mind, there's nothing in it. It's dead to me. Slide on, take. So do you know of any moose of games that are badly made, yet somehow celebrated for it? You know, Akuso Musu. <laughs> Akuso Musu. I can think of uh, several Musos that I would say are not programmed quite so good. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're particularly celebrated by anyone other than, like, me. But yeah, there's a few. <gasps> I can't OTG. Huh. Yeah. All right, we got him. Get item. I should not be overextending, and yet... And yet my brain's small. I must advance. No, let's make a new genre. The Hunka Chunka. <laughs> the Hunka Chunka. That's just Musos, surely. I guess it depends on how hunky you consider these characters on screen to be. There is lots of chunking going on, though. I think that's... I don't think that's up for debate. Thank you. Delicious meat buns. Ooh. <laughs> Is it time to accept a duel with Blue Boo? We could. Mama didn't raise no coward. We'll almost certainly die, but we'll die really funny. Okay, that OTGs. That's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, defeat Lu Bu, steal his horse? I feel like if we stole his horse, he would just come back from the dead even more upset than he was while he was alive. We just wander into a giant group of red. On the map, let me just, let me just aggro everyone in a radius. I'm just gonna start swinging wildly. If you get hit, it's your fault. We must not fall behind. You can see how low kill counts are comparatively between later games. Nowadays, it's not unusual at all to get, like, two, even three thousand kills in one stage. Here, we're almost at the end, and we've not even scratched to 200. So just in general, they have they got less dudes on screen. Which, yeah, I mean, you gotta make sure the game runs good. 
<laughs> you can't go too crazy. I know that some of the Dynasty Warriors games, like the later ones, they're locked at like 30 FPS. Maybe that's not true on PC, I couldn't tell you, but... I've certainly played Dynasty Warriors 7 before, and on the platform I was playing it on, I seem to recall it being locked at 30 FPS. But there was also a million billion dudes on screen at all times, maybe that's just how it had to be. Can anyone say the newer games are okay? Most people will probably tell you that 7 and 8 are good to buy, but not 9. That is life recovery. Yeah, most people will probably tell you to uh, go for 7 or 8. This man is blocking. He's got archers behind him. Oh, Jesus. I just need the archers gone real quick. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> the streamer has overextended wildly again. Truly, the streamer has learned nothing. Oh, hell yeah. Full restore? He's good. More meat buns. Hold that thought, sir. Be right with you in a moment. Gotta buy the meat buns. Yeah, the Gundam Musos. I've actually only played Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1. And to be fair, I had a wonderful time. Love me some Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Han forces victorious. I mean, to be fair, I only played as, like, Domon in Dynasty Warriors Gundam. I found he was the funnest character to play. But I enjoyed it. Tortoise amulet. Dragon amulet. We gotta we gotta equip some of these. Poisonous orb. Fire orb. Fire is busted in these early games because it deals constant damage while they're on fire. And this applies during juggles, too, so as long as you can keep juggling them, they'll just take damage over time until they land. It's really overpowered. Ah. Wait, we unlocked a new outfit! Unlocked a new model, ooh! Our sword is leveled up. I'm picking up what this game's putting down. Dion Wei's available! Shu Huang! We got Dion Wei! We might pivot. We might pivot to Dion Wei. He's great. The Alliance against Dong Zhuo! We may pivot to the Axe Man. I like him a lot. Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. 
Guan Yu always looks exactly the same in all of these. Lord Yuan Shu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Wow. I thought we were on the same team. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is brought to an end thanks to the efforts of the brave heroes of the Han forces. Due to his extraordinary feats in battle, Cao Cao's become known as a hero of chaos. Following the rebellion, it's Dong Zhuo who seizes control of the Imperial Court. With the mighty Lu Bu by his side, Dong Zhuo's power knows no limits as he rules the capital with an iron fist. Unable to bear Dong Zhuo's tyranny any longer, regional leaders across the land answered Cao Cao's call to arms, and an allied force is formed under Yuan Shao in an attempt to overthrow the evil dictator. Cao Cao and the newly formed allied force begin their march on the capital of Luoyang. A big battle! But can we pursue Lu Bu? Yeah, we probably can. I don't see why not. Battle of Sishui Gate. Attack the defensive stronghold. I guess we should do the side mission first. Change character. Pronounced it cacao. It's <laughs> pretty strong. How do the stats look? Okay, the stats are the attack is the same. So we're not actually missing out on a huge amount by pivoting to a different character. He's got more life, slightly less defense. I wish I had Xu Zhu, but this'll do. What's the other model we got? Ah, it's a palette swap. Although six, six outfits per character is pretty good. Yeah, give me Dion Wake. What are my objectives? Okay. You're watching a stream while two dogs and a cat are lying on you. That is incredibly powerful. What's the Muso stat represent? The length of your Muso gauge that you use to engage in Muso attacks. Give me fire orb. Give me defense up. There we go. Give me the same bodyguards. Yeah, Kevin and Arnold, my boys. Yes, sir. All right, I'm ready. This is a just battle to punish the traitors that ravage this land. All forces, march for Sea Gate. <gasps> Dion Wei's got a command grab. <laughs> no, no, I missed. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> That's sick. Wait, it's an officer. Ooh. Final Fantasy Muso is Stranger of Paradise on Easy Boat. Yeah, I guess that's true. Stranger of Paradise is a very funny game. And I would say it's for an unintended reason, but really it's not. <laughs> yeah, they do exactly what they were doing. I mean, the game is memes, right? But <laughs> it's funny. Sun Jian, huh? Okay. It's earnest memes. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's out, so never mind. 
You're doing great, boss. Go get him. I'm gonna go over this way. Oh, that's pretty good. Need to be taking all these bases as we go. All the, like, borders of the map. We want to make sure that we have them all. That way, enemies do not continue to pour out of them. Hey. Hey, 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 there. Yes. Off the horse with ye. Kind of getting my ass beat, won't lie. All right, everything's under control. Yeah, the way he throws his axe. Mr. Radon, they were the 34 old years. Tony Hawk Muso, I would love that. That'd be game of the year Welcome for me. Get ready. That would tick every Dino box. The Dr. Cat Jail, thank you for the follow. There's just like a hundred Eric Sparrows around. Dude. We need to go this way, but the gate is closed. Nor am I able to hop. Oh, I am able to hop over this. Let's go. I didn't think it would let me do that. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Where is the supply convoy? Our morale is dwindling. Nah, you'll be fine. Yo, it's a blueprint. Let's prioritize the archers before something really tragic happens. Oh god, there's more of them. I've misjudged the quantity of archers I'd be dealing with. The enemy is strong. I won't lie to you gamers, we've overextended yet again. Wait a minute. Okay, that's not my win con. He is in the same room as me, though. I didn't mean to speedrun this one, but here we are. Help me, Kevin. Help me, Arnold. My strongest soldiers. <laughs> Still no camera rotation at this point. I don't know when they invented camera rotation in Dynasty Warriors, but it still was not yet. I feel like it was as late as, like, Dynasty Warriors 6. They finally gave the player right stick camera movement. Duel available? Excuse me? What is this? Is this QTEs? I have no idea what's going on. Ooh! Oh, dude, this game rules! Ooh! I love this. Why is this not in every game? Yeet! You fool. You buffoon. I tried again. Okay. Okay, you're quite good. <laughs> Your dagger Joe get the blueprint us up! It's a draw. Neither of our stats are high enough to kill the other. 
<laughs> oh god, what's going on? Dagger Joe, we have to die more subs! No, I almost had him. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Dagger Joe. Thank you for the... Thank you for the one gift sub and then the nine more gift subs. Has been slain by whom? By whom? So much for Wajong. Ah, oh, Dion Wei is so cool. All right, who's next? He is China's baldest warrior. Where are the reinforcements? You're gonna have to handle this shit yourself soon, Jian. I'm kind of in the middle of the enemy base for some reason. Granted, I probably shouldn't be out here. <laughs> but we're out here. Let us join our allies. I didn't quite go according to plan. <laughs> I'm gonna hack my way out of this mess. Kevin and Arnold, my bodyguards, are not guarding my body quite as well as I had hoped. Come here. Okay, we got him. We must not fall behind. <laughs> They're spectators, yeah, pretty much. This is what I need. All right, we're living. I, John Liao, have come to take you Diane Wei's head would inspire the people of that era to invent a game with marble balls that is still played to this day. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking about billiards. Thank you, Mike, for the 100 billiards. Chicken. I've definitely gone a little too far out. Let's see who's who. Who wants me dead at the moment? Yang Feng, uh, Li Jue is the main guy we gotta kill. If we kill this guy, we win. Unless the win con has changed while I wasn't looking. We gotta try and thin this herd a little bit. <laughs> Where did the main guy go? He left. <laughs> he had seen enough. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> I thought he just disengaged from the battle. I thought he just ran. I am definitely in too deep. You're not wrong, sir. Ooh. Okay. Wait, this is kind of good. Being in the highest part of the red on your life bar is actually, like, pretty optimal. If you're in, like, the safe red zone, as opposed to being on a pixel, you can shit out damage like you were not able to previously. All we gotta do is lame it out a bit while it recharges. This is, like, the most optimal place for your life bar to be. We're playing a dangerous game here, though. Oh, wow. I think Kevin killed him! <laughs> Let's fucking go, Kevin! Uh-oh. Dizzy! Okay, not too bad. Keep 
chop, chop, chop. I think he has an attack boost, which means we really need to run away for a bit. Okay. How close to me are you behind? I think I got him. Yes, sir! I will defeat you one day. Okay, we got away with a really bad plan there. We were not penalized for our uh, poor tactics. <laughs> we kind of just ran straight in, and we won, somehow. We'll take that. That's all we did. It was ten minutes. We started on the right side. We just ran straight into the middle because we jumped over a wall for some reason. And then we skipped the entire stage and killed the load-bearing guy. I have ranked up. None of my stats went up, but it still feels pretty good. My hand axe has leveled up, though. More power. Ooh, I can have a third bodyguard now. It's not just Kevin and Arnold, I can have a new guy! The Allied Force's first objective is to take out Luo Yang's defenses at Sishui Gate. After defeating Hua Xiang, Cao Cao, and the others, successfully rout Li Jue's forces and break through the first gate. The Allied Forces reach Hu Lao Gate, the only obstacle left between them and Dong Zhuo. But guarding the gate is the mighty Lu Bu. Will the Allied Forces be able to bring an end to the evil reign of Dong Zhuo? Probably. I don't see any reason why not. Now, we just saved our game, so hold on. I'm going to... I'm going to reset the game. I'm going to see if I can turn the music up, because the music's kind of quiet in this. I'm going to see if there's, like, a slider of some sort. This may be before the volume slider was invented, though. This game's pretty old. Let's see here. Okay, they're already all the way up. Let's turn down the sound effects in general, then. And let me turn it up in my mixer. That way the music's a bit more... ...legible. Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends was your first one. Yeah! 3 was the first one to get an Extreme Legends. But 4 was probably the one that more people had. <laughs> the Extreme Legends games are weird, though, because they, they have, like, standalone stuff in them. But you still need, like, the original disc to import that game's stuff into Extreme Legends. It's kind of weird. Hulao Gate is always don't pursue Lu Bu, yeah. That's the case in every Dynasty Warriors. We're gonna pursue him anyway, in ignorance. You know what? Give me the poison orb. Mm. Who do I have now? I have Clint! We got a brand new guy! <gasps> Wait. I can change. I can change their shit, dude. Alright, you guys wear red now. What, are we, what do we think? Are they bowmen? Are, are they swordsmen or are they bowmen? What do we think? And... Mm. Having some archers with me sounds pretty cool. But then they're gonna get absolutely fucked when we're, like, in the middle of a huge mess. We're gonna do it anyway. Alright, good enough for me. It's the gamer shit! The objective is beat Dong Zhuo, I'm sure of it, yeah. No doubt that's Lu Bu in the way. So we're at the bottom. Uh, so I guess we all are just gonna kind of collapse on that center area where Lu Bu's probably at. The game probably wants us to tap dance around him and then go into the castle while he's distracted. We're not gonna do that, obviously. We're gonna try and fight him. See how fucked we get. 
And this is a battle for justice. Do not fear. Attack! Oh, I mean, we fear a little bit. Remember Sishui Gate. Mm hmm. Stand down for now and see what happens. We will head north. Our destination is Hulao Gate. How are we feeling about this draw distance? This is pretty good. We will head southward, straight for Hulao Gate. Huh. Your overconfidence will be your downfall. I can easily see like a dozen feet in front of me. <laughs> Maybe even more. Did you think you could break through our forces? It's a little foggy out, yeah. It's fine, don't worry about it. Now that's a Koei guitar riff. Oh no, it's already playing Lu Bu's theme. We haven't even got to him yet. Okay, so we got our poison orb now. <laughs> we are emitting fart gas with our charge attacks. And then they stay poisoned for the entire duration of the juggle. That tends to be the case. Most of these. It's hard to keep a juggle going with this character, though. He's kind of burly. He's kind of slow. Come here. Come here. Do I have iframes during the entire grab? I'm sure somebody knows. I, I don't know. My assumption is if this animation is this long that I have iframes for it. We need to go north this way. Okay. Are you guys like... Go get him, boy. Oh, God. Lord Kieran, thank you for the three whole years. Y'all ain't working that hard, huh? You're the new guy. Have Arnold and Kevin taught you how to do your job? I guess there's nobody around for you to shoot at. Or maybe you guys don't see this group of red dudes over here. Yeah! How's the stream going? It's going well. Some days you're just in a muso kind of a mood. This is very much one of those days. We just played Monster Seed for the past, like, three streams. And while I love Monster Seed very dearly, you don't have to press that many buttons. It's very chill and relaxed. So I'm like, I want to press all the buttons today. <laughs> and so it was muso time. Like, I'm in the mood to mash buttons. I haven't mashed buttons all week. It's time. <laughs> nice shot. What was that projectile sound so had? I do like the Dynasty Warriors games that give uh, Dion Wei his own, like, bodyguard mission. Because there is a pretty critical point of the Wei storyline that only he and Cao Cao are part of. Some games do have that mission, and I love that. Allied forces ram unit has appeared. Break down the gates with the ram. Protect the ram while it heads for Hulao Gate. Where's the ram? Which one? Uh, what am I protecting? Is it here? This gate. Let's go this way first. Yeah, the one where he has to escape the the one where he has to escape the castle. You. 
I missed. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Get up. Check this out. <laughs> Yeah, this weird, like, alien UFO music. It's <laughs> weird, this weird UFO sounds in this particular track. Yeah, Lord Masa. Did you think you could break through our forces? I don't think Masa works for Koei Tecmo at the moment. I think they retired or something, or they just... Parted ways. Musou games will never sound the same again. Oh, give me that meat! No, I need that. Thank you. like you won't get command grabbed. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. The ram did its job. I thought this was about to be Lu Bu showing up. The Hulao gate's been destroyed! Ah, here he is. Is that who I think it is? I'm sure he's a nice guy. You could try diplomacy. They are strong, but do not falter. This way. Rush them in one blow. Press them in one blow. <laughs> All right. Stop copying his notes. <laughs> Wait, there's an officer this way. Oh, that's Guan Yu. Never mind. There's an available username gifted. Do not pursue Lu Bu a sub. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go straight at him. Check this out. Here I go. Oh wait, let's get rid of these guard captains first. We should get rid of everyone that has a name on screen. You dare face Duel? Yeah, let's go. Oh fuck, it's Greg Johnson. Everybody's Garpa. Grab your meat buns and let's get the fuck out. <laughs> let's get the fuck out. Here I go. Ooh. Alright, he's pretty strong. He's about as strong as we've heard. You've got a lot of range, sir. My, what large hitboxes you have. Ooh, all right, we're dead. You got me fair and square. Sorry, we dealt about 15% of his HP. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> that sure is the Lu Bu experience. Alright, let's not accept the duel this time. <laughs> Even if we, uh, had timed him out, it still would have just reset to nooched. We wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I have to turn the sound lower, that way I could turn the game up so that the music is louder, but the sound isn't. Trying to get to, like, the sweet spot. You lose morale? Let me save the settings while I'm at it. There we go. Yo, Lu Boo! Me with my money. I don't believe in diplomacy. I only believe in fighting. 
Diplomacy is for people who know how to read. And that ain't me. To be fair, there's probably a lot of people in this game who don't know how to read. <laughs> this is probably, probably a good chunk of these characters. Ready, but be back in. This game would be perfect with some breakfast cereal. I agree. Muso games are, when you think about it, the breakfast cereal of all genres. Do not fear. Right. Muso games, it's junk food. It's a bag of sun chips. Right. It's comfy. <laughs> Confidence will be your downfall. Archers ready. Shoot all enemies down. Didn't make John Muso. Nah. Edit mode is very funny, though. Oh, now I can hear the music. What a whiff. All right. Press on, don't need to worry about these dorks. Except for you! Archers! Command grab them. Teach them that zoning is for pussies. Come here. Drill sniper tweet? I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what I have a feeling I know how it's like. He's wearing jeans, yeah. You know that's circa 200 AD denim. It was made out of much different stuff back then. <laughs> Levi's 195. It wouldn't be that out of place to see a Levi here. We already have a Clint and a Kevin and an Arnold. I could see it. No, it's definitely a hundred percent accurate, yeah. I mean, Dynasty Warriors is already based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which itself, depending on who you ask, is not 100% accurate. So, it's just kind of... <laughs> it's kind of a crapshoot, I suppose. The words are accurate, the numbers are not. I know that it's based on true events, yeah. No, I get that. I'm just pretty sure it is a dra dramatization. <laughs> Help. I'm obscured by a horse? Okay, we're fine. Growing up to realizing Shu are the bad guys? What do you mean? Why would they put Zhao Yun on the cover of every game if he wasn't a precious baby boy angel who did nothing wrong? How dare you? My boy, my son, I will not tolerate this slander. Oh, God Ning's absolutely a shithead. I was talking about Zhao Yun. No, I'll concede God Ning's a shithead. All day, every day. It's 
one of the reasons I love him. He's great. <laughs> no, Gan Ning rules because he runs around with no shirt on, he's got no armor. He attaches bells to his clothing, and he's like, I'm gonna be as loud and boisterous as possible so that when you die, you'll know that it was me. <laughs> and I'm just like, pop off, king. <laughs> That being said, I do miss when he had his cool sword. They don't give him swords anymore. Yo, some Shonen Sketcher. Ooh. Okay, I landed on the item I was trying to grab, so that works out. Thoughts on Dynasty Warriors 9? I haven't really played it. It's to my understanding it is different. That is about all I know. I've got no experience. Okay, area's clear. Nice work, lads! I don't know if you've contributed a whole lot, but nice work. I got experience with the Insomniac Spider-Mans. I only have experience with Neversoft Spider-Man, which admittedly is the greatest thing ever made on the planet Earth. All forces attack! Take Dong Zhu's head! Is that who I think it is? The Mario Musou. Could you imagine? There's just like hundreds of Goombas <laughs> or some shit. That'd be pretty good. So what have we learned? We learned that when we get the Lubu cutscene, we learned not to press the dual button. That's what we've learned. That's the adjustment. <laughs> Lubu was a celeb back in 251. It's to my understanding that just about everybody hated him. It is to my understanding that Lubu betrayed everyone he had ever worked with, and he had no friends, and then he was killed. But you know what? Pop off, King. <laughs> You can't say that he's not a gatekeeper, that's true. You might say he's the first gatekeeper, he's the first one. Help me. Alright, we're not gonna press this button this time. I really want to command grab Lu Bu. Like, I won't lie, I really want to grab him. All right, see you later. I'm out of here. We must not fall behind. It's the perfect crime. Hey, that's a permanent life up. He's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. My, what large hitboxes you have. Ooh. 
See you later, shithead. Alright, new plan. Let's actually stay with our boys, yeah? We should be wise about this and stick with the team. Sun Shang Jiang, yep. She does not seem willing to engage. Not my body, guards! Oh, God! Wait a minute. I have a bow and arrow. I can be annoying and lame you out. Not very well, admittedly. Yeah, he was strafing the bow and arrow. That's pretty funny. All right, now she's getting involved. Okay. That's all we really needed was, uh, we need him to start fighting somebody else. That way I can move in without being chased. <laughs> yeah, my bodyguards are absolutely gonna die. I just need somebody to distract Lu Bu. That way we can continue on without being in real danger. As long as he's uh, staying in the front gate, keeping people out, and we're already in, we should be fine. We just need to make sure that he, that uh, we win before he kills all of the, like, you know, load-bearing characters that we're supposed to keep alive. Who would those people be? It's Yuan Xiao. He's way in the back. I don't think we're, I don't think we'll have to worry about it. Pretty much as long as Lu Bu doesn't come inside. <laughs> as long as he stays outside, we're good. Diao Chan, Lu Bu is going to be very upset if we kill her. Lu Bu is going to be furious if we kill her. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Yukio? Acting like you won't get command grab. Forget about Lu Bu. I mean, yeah, you probably should. You should probably just go around. He's only one guy. Yo, I'm getting my ass beat. Wait a minute. Did you think you could break through our Give me that. Thank you. Hey. Right. Let us meet again. Alright, where to next this away? Gate is open. Yes, sir! The fantasy zone. Get ready! Asky Knightley, thank you for the follow. Burn the city and keep the invaders out. You're gonna burn your own city, my dude? Is this wise? Did I know the first Dynasty Warriors was a fighting game? No. I'm just glad Lu Bu's frozen out there and we're in here and he's the sheriff and we're out there and he's in here. <laughs> what I want to know is, where's Lu Bu? Thunderfox! Thank you for the 828 whole years. No, why would I know anything like that? You grab. <laughs> Wait, my bodyguard hit him while he was in the grab and he fell out. Right. 
plus one defense. I'm hoping that we can get Shuju. That's what I really want. Just an absolute mountain of a man. An absolute bastion of beef. I'm definitely just prioritizing the officers at the moment, because they're the only ones that drop shit. But we are surrounded, so we might as well clean up this mess. Fish Pins 3. I think that's out already, right? I thought there was like a whole premiere for it on YouTube. the grab can be interrupted. <laughs> they can just fall out of the grab. That's so funny. Ooh, archers. Yeah. Not taking no chances with archers. Dynasty Warriors 2 has instilled so much fear in me. Help. Help me, Kevin. Help me, Clint. Where's the other one? Is Arnold just dead? Is he super dead? I haven't seen him in a while. I think he died, boys. I think Arnold died some time ago. He bravely held off Lubu by himself. He did not survive. He died a hero's death. <laughs> I desire to be surrounded by less hostile soldiers, if at all possible. Alright, so this should be Dong Zhuo right up here. I think we got everyone else. There he is. Can I duel him? That would be very funny. No, he doesn't. We, there's not even a cutscene for Dong Zhuo. Hey. Hey now. Hey. Thank you. I really wanted to do that move. <laughs> He's like, no, you can't do it. No, stop. <laughs> I know that's going to hurt if we get hit by that. Oh, God, he has a grab. That's fine. Let me see if I can procure any healing items around here. Let me see if I can't source a meat bun from these parts. Oh, the, the cavalry has arrived, quite literally. This works for me. Distract them for me, friend. Lubu has defeated 50 people. Ooh. Jesus Christ. When did Dong Zhuo get so strong? He doesn't strike me as the kind of person who does work. 
He strikes me as the kind of person who sits on his throne all day, being an evil bastard. Just eating all the food in China. He's retreating. Are you? You're still right here. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here, coward. I'll turn this into a cartoon chase. I'm not letting you get away. <laughs> I tried. Tried to grab him. How's he so slippery? He's such a slippery fish! Come back here! I really just wanted to say I'm glad I joined just in time to watch your character ragdoll into a building. I know, we got bodied, dude. Liu Bei is chasing after him. He's trying the best he can. Dong Zhuo is such a slippery fish. That we cannot seem to... Come here. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me, Kip. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth, dog Zhuo! <laughs> I tried. Before he leaves the map, I don't think he can. He's just backing up all the way into, like, his base or whatever. I don't know if it's possible for him to heal himself. No, it looks like he is leaving. I see. I think that still counts as a win. Cool. I'm actually fine with that. That's fine with me. I didn't realize we were already, like, on our way to victory. <laughs> Look at this part of the timeline. <laughs> it's the funniest part of the time library. He's just running for his life. <laughs> he got away this time. That's all right. The hand axe gets better. The bodyguards. Shoo, shoo, let's fucking go. That's my boy right there. Now I'm invested. I got my character. Now I'm invested. This is who I actually wanted to play as today. Thank you, Lagon, for the 100 bits earlier as well. We will attack Yuan Shao. Wait, cousin. We're no match for him militarily. You, of all people, should know. If we do nothing, then Yuan Shao will swallow the North whole. The time to act is now. His influence must be nipped in the blood. Can't we all just get along? The Allied forces succeed in foiling the evil ambition of Dong Zhuo. However, this is only the beginning of an age of unrest. The numerous leaders of the Allied forces return to their territories and begin their personal quests to take over the land. Cao Cao himself returns to Hainan, where he welcomes the Emperor and begins, to ma uh, begins a mass military buildup. But the esteemed Yuan Shao, whose enormous army commands the entire Hebei region, would become an immediate obstacle for Cao Cao. Furthermore, with Lu Bu in the east at Sha Pi, and Zhang Shu at the south at Wan Castle, Cao Cao is trapped within a wall of enemies. If Cao Cao could turn these threats into opportunity, the dream of absolute conquest would come closer to fruition. No. Where to first? We have to level up Xu Zhu a bit, so I guess maybe we'll just do all of these. All this character hopping, we're missing out on precious, like, stat gains. 
Yeah, <laughs> you can see that he's behind a bit. Although, Tsao Tsao seems to have leveled up of his own accord. That's fine. This is the character for me. This is the only boy for me. Big, huge boy. Yeah, that was six different outfits. Sadly, we have none of them unlocked at the moment. What's my objective? Defeat Lu Bu! Oh god, what did I sign up for just now? What have I done? Let's ruminate on this clerical error. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. By doing the frog race that just got redeemed. Six penguins, thank you for the follow. It's time to bet on the frogs once more. Predictable. I ask you a simple question, chat room. Which of these four frogs crosses the finish line first? This note is stalling! What do you mean? It just got redeemed! If it, it would be stalling if I did a second one in a row. But you gotta do the redeems. <laughs> Why don't we have a Lu Boo frog? I may have some... I may have some information regarding frogs in the near future. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. There may be some advancements in frog technology. All right, 33% on Ribbit King. The Ginch, Macho Man, Shaggy Rogers in this one as well. Let's see who claims victory. Best of luck, everyone. Two and three. Off to the early lead. Frog number two pulls away first. Frog number three not too far behind. The Ginch ran all the way to the end. What a come from behind victory for Lord Ginch. How could it be? 19% of this bet was correct. Pay it out. 275,000 new yen given to 19 lucky winners. Congratulations to the 19 of you. My condolences to everybody else. Yeah, the Ginch before Christmas. That is a good idea, actually. We should play... We should play that Grinch game. Before Christmas, we should play that Grinch game. Throw it over to Stampede while I think about that. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? It's not a happy place between the dusk and the dawn. Deep below the well-lit and open spaces, I wait under the under. For them to come and rip me asunder, tearing my core until morning. Mmm, thank you, Stampede. That's what we should do. We should play that Grinch game. We could. We totally could. I don't know what we'd play it for. It came out for several things. We could play Welcome it on, the like... Get ready. The GD Damn Lover, thank you for the follow. We could play it on, like, Dreamcast or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the most optimal platform for that game is. Alright. It's time to fight Lubu. Altazen. Thank you for the 100 bit Sao Sao. Which Grinch game? The one where Grinch is oddly seductive? That's... <laughs> and it was said that day, that Altaisen's new yen grew three sizes that day. <laughs> Thank you, Altaisen. The one where the Grinch is oddly seductive. I mean... That's... You're telling on yourself, dude. <laughs> sounds like you're telling on yourself. Thank you for the dollar redo. Oh, my boy, he's so slow. Yes! Rotate! And then he falls down. I love him. His attacks are so unbelievably slow. I love him. Nice armor on that.
<laughs> so we're gonna need to raise our stats as immediately as possible. We're currently uh, working from behind a bit. The problem with this Muso attack is that we can't, like, continue to hit the same guy with it. They just fly around after the first hit. They just go flying, so we don't get much damage out of it. <laughs> you just go behind him. It didn't work correctly. Oh no. Help. We're in trouble, gamers. We're in trouble. Running for our lives. Yeah, Arnold's alive again. Oh no. Oh no, Zhang Liao's here. I didn't realize I was in so much danger. Holy shit. I didn't realize how much danger I was in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna spin in a circle, and if you get hit by it, it's your fault. I'm going to aggressively rotate at you. Ooh, all right, you got me. So while we still have, like, level 1 stats on this character, we need to stick with the team. We're gonna need to stick with everyone else so that we don't get overwhelmed. Yeah, we took the no stats character. That is to be expected, though. Now, I don't think that the game expects you to stick with one guy the whole way through because they wouldn't give you the option to switch. But going to a mission where our win con is to defeat Lu Bu as a level one character is probably not the wisest move. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway, in ignorance. Here I go. Let's see, we need Defense. No, 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 no. Give me my orb. Thank you. Bodyguards. That's all fine. All right. Let's try and stay with our teammates a little better this time. Let's stick with the team. The beast blue boo must die today. Don't run out into the middle of all the dudes. Unless we've got some backup to distract them. First, we must eliminate any enemies that come charging out. Oh, big. It's not actually anywhere else to go from here other than this way. <gasps> An enemy assault party. All right, let's go this way first. These are much closer. Shuju is not in much of a hurry, as you can tell. He never is. <laughs> We do have a Blanca Ball, though, which is pretty sick. We can only do it if we had a running start for a while, though. We can't just do it. Zhang Li, how are you here as well? <laughs> how did you get all the way over here? I fought you in the other corner of the map last time. Yellow Boo! I'm tired of never getting any presents from Santa. So I plan to steal Christmas. Oh, Those yeah. poor yellow turbans will wake up on Christmas morning with no presents. <laughs> and Blue Boo will be victorious once more. It's a devious plan, Mr. Boo. It's a devious gambit. It might just be crazy enough to work.
Whoa. All right, we're still gonna die, it looks like. Unless there's a meat bun nearby. We're definitely not fast enough to shake Zhang Liao. <laughs> nice hitbox on that, though. That's pretty funny. Oh, we got some life back. Yes, sir. We're living once more. I'm glad that you're distracted by my bodyguards. This works out quite nicely. Uh oh. I like that I have armor during this. Can we bounce with it, like, more than once? Hold on. Oh, so I can! Thank you. Thank you. I did not realize that. We almost got him, somehow. Let's go! I don't know how we defeated Zhang Liao's unit, but we damn sure did. <laughs> AI Shuju does this all the time. That makes me happy. Who is that? Okay, you're with me. Okay, just making sure. It's gonna roll around. I'm gonna pretend like my character is fast by Blanca balling across the map. <laughs> yeah, plus two sword. It is a permanent upgrade, though. It's definitely. It ain't. It's not useless. How long can I lay on the ground? Okay, I can lay on the ground for almost the entire length of my Muso gauge. Ugh. I'm glad they didn't show at that time. In Dynasty Warriors 1, you definitely see the gritty detail of him eating his eyeball when it gets shot in the eye with an arrow. We cannot allow this to happen. Thankfully, they only <laughs> hinted at it here. <laughs> yeah, it was already pre-bandaged. The later games got a bit better about that by having him start the game with two eyes. There's gotta be... <clears throat> There's gotta be some crates around here that I can break for a meat bun. There's gotta be. Yeah, we died almost immediately when we dueled Lu Bu. We survived for a short amount of time and we <laughs> stopped breathing suddenly. <laughs> I 
It doesn't look like they try to hit you while you're laying on the ground, which is very good. Adam Admar, thank you for the 32 all years. Yeah, just taking a little nap. It works out, though, because we can build all this gauge. Because our health is in the red, so Muso gauge regenerates. So we can just kind of sit there <laughs> until it's full. Which is definitely, I mean, that's laming it out. I'm not going to pretend it isn't. But desperate times call for desperate measures. There we go. Now we're living a little bit. I don't suppose I could get another one. I don't suppose there's another tasty meat bun. Thank you. Now we can proceed. Hans? No, that's Arnold. Adam Admar gifted K Bro Man a sub. Given 54 subs in the channel. Thank you so much. What do you mean Shuju has begun battle with Lu Bu? What do you mean by that video game? I don't think that's true. Looks like I have to go the long way around. No, there's a way south from all the way across. Let me build this up. And slowly roll across the battlefield. You <laughs> good luck to that shoo shoo fella! I'm sure he'll be fine. Let's go south. Let's clear out what's going on on the bottom of the screen. We do need to try and kill as many people as possible to level up this character. Because at present, he's pretty... weak. Guan Yu has been defeated somehow. I don't know how that could possibly be. He's the fucking god of war. Yeah, rolling is faster than running with this character. Liu Bei is struggling. Who is my lose condition? It's gotta be Cao Cao, right? Yeah, okay. Well, he's not in any danger up there. Who's my favorite Musou character? Gan Ning. And it's not particularly close. Picking one's hard. I guess it's true for for most people, perhaps. I don't know. I gravitated immediately to a John headband, as is my want. <laughs> this pogo attack is very strong. The fact that we can do it during an air recovery is quite nice. Everything else we do is horrifically slow, though. Yeah, as Muso's great, he just runs. We didn't really get to show it off while we were playing Dynasty Warriors 3, but... If you get somebody stuck against a wall while you're doing Gan Ning's Muso attack, it'll just hit them like every frame. And it does absurd damage. Where are you going? You cannot run from me. I have a Blanca Ball, sir. Come here. Oh, no, you don't. Uh-oh. Damn, he's getting away. All right, it looks like he's leaving. He's fleeing the scene. What a coward. Or are you? No, you're not. Yes, you are. I cannot attack you from here. What if I aggro you by just shooting you? <laughs> okay, you still don't want to engage. You're just making sure. 
An enemy stronghold's been restored. Sung Jian has surrendered. What do we got here? You. Come here. You fool! <laughs> I seek true strength. Yeah, I have no idea how we landed that. Nah, I'm not in that deep. We're fine. I bow to your skills. Looks like he too is leaving. It looks like we don't even have to kill these people. It looks like we just deal a lot of damage to them and then they run away. Now we gotta get back up. To, uh, we gotta get back up here to base. Lu Bu's morale is dropping because we're getting his people to quit on him. But I guess that's accurate to actual Lu Bu lore. That is generally the story of how he lost. He just ran out of friends. <laughs> How's morale work? I think morale usually influences, like, damage? Is that right? It's been a while since I've even perceived the morale gauge. We gotta protect our main area before it's out, it's out dies. Yo, meaty command grab! Really? He's also leaving. We don't even have to fight them for that long. We just hit them a little bit, and then they're like, yeah, I quit. Interesting. Yeah, the pogo stick move is one of the best moves we've got. You on shoe. Let me just lay down and build most of this meter back up. All right. <laughs> it's the perfect plan. They don't know what to do about me just laying there. He's just laying there menacingly. What what can you even do about it? We're not doing a lot of damage, though. Our damage is horrendously low at the moment. We have to level up this character a bit. So this is our plan for the time being. Where'd he go? I lost him. So if we do that close enough to an allied unit, then I guess we can do like a team Muso attack, because we just did one with Xu Huang. <gasps> Meat! Yes, sir! Oh my god, we're alive again. It's been a while.
Got him. I smashed him. Good. How much did we get for that? One attack! We must not fall behind. I've gained a single stat point, finally. Where are you going? Oh god. I'll take that trade, actually. Keep hearing him say, my boy. <laughs> Oh no. Whenever I see Diao Chan, I'm like, how much am I going to regret defeating this character? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, I'm alive. Blame it out. Blame it out, build meter. Yeah, we're back to red health. What's going on here? We flooding? There is a stream going through the castle. That will substantially limit our movements. <laughs> yeah, with command grab into special. There's not a whole lot else we can do in this situation. We can't exactly outrun these people. So we kind of have to play for safety. Is if we try to run from her, we're, we're not going to be able to. So we pretty much just got to have to... We have to abuse our own iframes as best we can. We almost got her, oddly enough. Probably one more. Yeah, exploit AI. It's really the only way we're going to win a mission like this on level one. Is very accurate to the lore of this character, just doing one move, getting sleepy. <laughs> there we go! Oh no. Oh god. Diachon's death has infuriated Lu Bu! Let us meet again. I'm sure he'll get over it. I'm sure he's... it's fine. It's probably fine. These arrows that are whizzing past me I'm a little worried about. Ah, here we are. The pots of safety. I don't suppose we got meat buns in here. That'll do. Oh, baby. Alright, we got a real mission all of a sudden. We've had to resort to some very, very dumb strats in order to survive, but it has been working. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here. All right, I'm out. Ooh. Yeah, I can tell. I can see you're upset, sir. Don't worry, I can tell. I'm going to try and bring the fight over to my teammates, if you don't mind. So that they can distract you. Ooh, It's only 50% damage. It's 
find some other... Oh, hold on. Looks like we lost him. No, he's going, no, he's going again. <laughs> Let's see. I would like him to have to fight the other guys around here. And if we can get rid of all these other mooks, then at least there will be nobody else for our guys to focus on. I have gotten 100 kills as this horrifically slow character. But I am in grave danger at the moment. You'll never catch me, Lubu. Not while I'm Blanca balling out of range. I'm far too fast for you. <laughs> this is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he actually gave up. He's like, ah, fair play. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> oh, meat bun. Wait a minute. Me buns, we're so back. We can really only engage with Lubu at all when he's got like when we have like a hundred percent health. If we're any more dead than that, then we're in danger of dying in like one combo. You can't catch me, I'm spherical! Yeah, we just gotta stay with our own guys, let them get involved. Ooh, here's a heal. This doesn't look good. That'll do. Can I outmash Lupu? Ah, I sure can. Whoa! Hey there, buddy. Hey there, bucko. I can tell you want me dead. Don't worry, I can see that. This is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Although, arrows don't seem to do much of anything. Nor do any of my moves, really. We're just kind of harmlessly tapping him for close to zero damage. Yeah, death by a million paper cuts. Seems to be the only way we're going to get anything done here. Not my boy. Not my boy Arnold, bro. gonna sit here and charge while you're busy. <laughs> oh no, he's so dead! <laughs> Do you think we can lure him all the way to Tsao Tsao? Do you think he would chase us that far? That'd actually be really helpful. My morale is dropping. My morale is sky-high, friend. 
In game, though, yeah, I get it. Xu Huang's kind of cooking over there. Arnold has exploded. I think all of my bodyguards are dead. Just every single one of them. I'm gonna try and bring this all the way to South South, see if he gets involved. Because he can probably deal real damage to him. You know, he's our main dude, after all. He definitely does chase this far, yeah. Lu Bu has defeated 50, that's so funny. I didn't know that it kept track of kill counts. Wow, nice command grab. I didn't know that it kept track of kill counts for our opponents, that's really good. I like that these guys are actually doing work. Oh my goodness. You've grabbed him a little too close to me. That's all right. I'm willing to let you continue to distract him. Where are you at, Sao Tso? You're over here. I'm curious if you get involved. Yeah, do not kite, Lu Bu. We don't really have much of a choice, though. Now he's in it. I'm gonna go back to laying on the ground, because my health is in the red. And we're gonna see if Sao Tso does his job at all. Yeah, we made it to Dynasty Warriors 4. We're currently in a heated conflict with Lu Bu. We've been fighting him for quite some time. As you might imagine, uh, he ain't so easy to kill. Wow, that's a big hitbox. Yeah, the mission ends if Sao Tso dies, but also... <laughs> There's not really anyone else that's better for the job of dealing damage to him. Usually, the leaders are programmed to be stronger than the rest of the guys. I'm out of here. See you later. Okay. Slowly but surely, we've whittled him down. Yeah, this was taking naps on the battlefield. Not much else we can do. We can't hold them. Sure we can. Let's go. We have defeated Lu Bu with a level one character. He's not even defeated, yeah. He should be worth a lot of experience points, though. I want to see this timeline of me just running around. 
<laughs> so this is what I was running for my life in circles. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me running towards sound, so hey, can you get involved before I die, please? Alright, we gained two levels, nice. Club has leveled up. Yeah, Chen Gong didn't do a goddamn thing. Zhang Liao! I'm happy with that. Before his confrontation with Yuan Shao, Cao Cao heads east. Leaving Lu Bu unchecked could prove disastrous. Using his cunning, Cao Cao attacks Xia Hupi Castle and defeats the mighty Lu Bu. If Yuan Shao had attacked from behind during the last battle, all would have been lost. But as Cao Cao predicts, the indecisive Yuan Shao does not act. If Cao Cao takes the initiative here, defeating Yuan Shao's massive army would not be as difficult as it seemed. Hold off Shang Shu's ambush and rescue the isolated Cao Cao. Destroy the army. Let's do let's do all of them for Act 3. Let's do all the missions. Because we gotta power up this boy. Defeat Shang Shu and Cao Cao reaches the escape point. It is in this game. So this should be a pretty this should be pretty close quarters then. Which is great because we have an immobile character. <laughs> Yeah, keep Cao Cao alive. I can do that. That shouldn't be that bad. Set fire to the castle. Do not let Cao Cao escape. This way. Damn you, no, I can't go this way. Me. The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. We must help our lord escape. Where is he, though? We should probably get to him as quickly as possible. Yeah, for the most part, Lu, uh, Lu Bu's final mission is at Sha Pi. I think there has been at least a handful of exceptions. Hell, I think some of the games have, like, a whole Lu Bu mode. <laughs> Where it's like a complete fan fiction. Like, what if Lu Bu had taken over China? I think at least one game has that. Is it this game? It might be. I do remember that somewhere, yeah. It might be from this. Feels nice to deal actual damage. Although they can still block midway through my combo strings, which is not ideal. Must acquire additional stats to defense. I'll take that any day of the week. Just grab someone. I don't care who. Come here. <laughs> uh oh. Archers! In my Dynasty Warriors? Unheard of. Preposterous. Unfathomable. <laughs> this is probably the best way to deal with archers, though. This move in general seems great. This is a very abusable move for this character. Meat bun, my beloved. Come here. <gasps> I couldn't armor through it. Are there two officers here? Oh, there sure is. No wonder things have gone south so immediately. Could it be... ...that the odds are stacked against us in this ambush mission? Is that at all possible?
they're very good at blocking, I'll give them that. Muso full for 10 seconds. Oh, baby, it's time to rotate. <laughs> it's time to spin in a circle, baby. Whoa! Okay, you don't want me to jump. You really don't want me to jump, I understand. Yo, what's up, Brodo Common? You're not missing much. Missing me laying on the ground a lot to cheese the game into building meter. We're currently going through Dynasty Warriors 4 with, uh, let's call him an underleveled character. And we're definitely feeling the effects of that. Thank God his hitbox is just the biggest thing on the planet Earth. Speed boots? Fast as fuck, boy! <laughs> nice throw! You must hurry, my lord. Come if you dare, but no one gets by me. Yes! I forgot Juju was here for this. I thought only Dion Wei was present for this mission. Meat! Give me that. Give me that meat. Come here. He jumped over my grab. He's a genius. Two attack points. Which battle is this? This is the one where we have to bodyguard Sao Tsao while he escapes the burning ambush. At the moment, though, we're trying to kill everyone we see. Because Shuju's a little underleveled at the moment, and we need to catch up. So we're not entirely focused on the escape part of this. <laughs> we're doing a pretty, ja a pretty bad job of guarding Cao Cao's body. Just kind of tracking down all the officers I see so I can kill them. Balloon! It is essentially a balloon, this attack we're doing. The best move we seem to have, by a huge margin, is to jump in the air and bounce off the ground a bit. That seems by far to be our best move. that other guy go? He ran for his life. Sao Tso is where? He's this way. He's running towards me, I think. Yeah, there he is. I like that he's in no danger at all. He's got full health. At no point was he struggling.
Now oh, you boys have fun. I think I see another officer up here needs killing. Oh, that's Dion Way. No, this guy up here. This is an enemy officer. Warriors Orochi more fantasy oriented, yeah. But it's also very much just a crossover game between this series and Dynasty Warriors. So it goes into like crazy fan fiction territory. Did I say Dynasty Warriors twice? Sorry, my bad. Focused on not dying at the moment. There we go. Now we should have no problem getting out of here. Yeah, Dynasty and Samurai Warriors. My bad, my bad. Charge where, Lord Zhao where are we charging to, sir? Yeah? We going in circles, my lord? Oh my god. <laughs> He's so fucking cool, dude. Yeah, Bladestorm is a very cool game. Bladestorm, the Hundred Years War. Dude. That game's really cool, though, because you're not really controlling one character. You're controlling, like, a whole squad of dudes that move in unison. It's actually really cool. I like it a lot. So Cao Cao's not going to start moving unless every single enemy in the room is dead. It seems. <laughs> the Wheel of Death special move, yeah. Now there's some cool musos out there. What was the fucking... What was the, like, launch title one for the Xbox 360? It was, uh... 99 Nights, I think, was the name of it. Yeah, thankfully you don't have to play the first 98 Nights. <laughs> to understand the lore of 99 Nights. It's a very weird series. You have Nights into Dreams, then you have Christmas Nights, and then you have uh, about 96 question marks in a row, and then you have 99 Nights. We have to kill Zhang Xu, do we? That is true. It's not defeat Zhang Xu and Cao Cao reaches the escape point. Both have to happen. Let's go get him, then! I don't think Sao Tsao's in any real danger anyway. I think he'll be alright.
I cannot go this way. We must go around. But I can't go around. There is no around. All the doors are closed. All right. Back to the south, south after all. Now this is something that's true in a lot of these Warriors games, is that your AI, when they have like a specific job to do, they're really bad at staying on task. <laughs> so like right now, Tsao is supposed to be escaping this building with his life, but since there's literally any enemies in his radius, we have to like kill them first, or else he's just not gonna move. This is true for a long time in this series, where you just kind of have to... Uh, <laughs> you just have to make sure there's nobody around at all. Yeah, we gotta do... I mean, it's not that we have to do the work ourselves, it's that Cao is not really in any rush to escape his own ambush. They're trying to assassinate this man, and he'd rather kill everyone in the room. <gasps> what a whiff! Okay. Now, this was the first game in the series, I believe, to have multi-directional blocking. Where, in the previous games, if somebody is blocking your combo string, you can just go behind them, and they cannot block from that direction. In this game, I believe, as long as you are holding the block button, you get a block. Which sounds incredibly overpowered, and it kinda is. But we also have this move which is unblockable. And every character does it, you just press R3. I'm playing as Flexible Fat Man from TikTok. I'll just, I'll trust that that is a valid reference. I've never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, I think later games brought back front-only blocking, which is probably how it should be. But in this one in particular, they're like, let's make it so you can block in any direction, but simultaneously, we'll add an unblockable move. <laughs> I like that he's running up to every door. Now he's trying to escape. Now that there's an actual threat in the room, now he's leaving. Ah, oh, you really don't want me to do this move, I understand. Fine by me. He's got a check, yeah. Oof, ouch my bones. Let's see here, what can we find in these parts? Yeah, the ten consecutive jump-ins. The best time to play against Zangiefs was in Street Fighter 4. This was back when uh, people were, like, looking at all the replays of what their opponents were doing. So you'd play against a Zangief. And you'd be like... You'd be like, I feel like that guy was mashing. And then you check their inputs in the replay. And they're just churning butter the whole time. It was even funnier with T-Hawk, because you either get an SPD while you're churning, or you get a DP. <laughs> and it's just the most ultimate mix-up.
being able to see inputs in the replays is incredibly funny. Full restore. <gasps> Got hit from behind. Where are these people coming from? Okay. Hey. Can be cruel. This ain't going too bad. See ya. My road to domination cannot end here. All forces retreat. Live to fight another day. Oh, yeah. I love to press a button. Ten more hit points. Life max increases. How'd we do? We've leveled up again. Weapon is leveled up again. Oh, dude, we can have four bodyguards now! Oh yeah, we're making moves. <laughs> After dealing with Yuan Shao, Cao Cao rids himself of Lu Bu in the east and Zhang Xu in the south, thereby removing any concerns of being flanked from the rear. Cao Cao is now able to concentrate solely on his upcoming battle with Yuan Shao. Crossing the Yellow River, Yuan Shao's massive army is met by Cao Cao's at Guandu. The two forces clash in a battle that is to determine who would control the central plains of China. A time of reckoning had arrived for Cao Cao. Yeah, the Piss River? Don't worry about it. What's my win con beat you on, Xiao? Yeah, of course. He's not even on the map yet. <laughs> There's no arrow pointing to him, so he must not be here at the moment. <laughs> he will show up at some point. <laughs> it is a level 10 peacock urn, which means it's going to be a lot of extra HP. That is probably the play here. Who's my new bodyguard? I got forest! Oh, I can upgrade them to spears! I couldn't do that before! I didn't have access to spear guards, now I do. Do not let Yuan Shao gain momentum. Defend by mine, Yan Jin, at all costs. You got it, boss. I'm on it. Here I go. Rolling into action. There is one thing that I dislike about this game, and that's that every mission... I have to press the L2 button again to display the enemy life bars. By default, they are always turned off. I have to turn them on. It is the one flaw in this otherwise perfect video game. Whoop. Come here. Oh, I missed! You don't know if my enthusiasm is real or trolling. 
It's true. I've, I've been acting for the past five, six hundred streams. It's all been... It's all been Twitch acting. I should get an Emmy. <laughs> They're pretty good. Come here. Gotcha! I'll fucking do it again. What a miss! Ooh. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. He's still alive. I have come for your head. All right, he died, and I wasn't even the one who killed him. My kill? My glory? It was stolen. You hate to see it. Yeah, I know, I whiffed my command grab. Dude, people are going to be laughing at me at the next command grabbers meeting. <laughs> Never going to live it down, that huge whiff. Roll into battle. Yeah, Grapplers Anonymous. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought that was gonna work. I don't know why. Like, this is a foolproof plan to knock him off of his horse. We're dealing much better damage now, which is nice. It's actually kind of optimal to keep our Muso gauge as short as possible. That way we can do it as frequently as possible. Now, when you have more Muso, the Muso attacks themselves last longer. We would do more rotations, but it's not as valuable as having iframes on demand. And those iframes are afforded to us by initiating the Muso, not by maintaining it. Yeah, the longer the gauge, the longer it takes to refill as well. That did not accomplish a whole lot. Oh god. How many more enemies are around here? Just a few? Just a handful? Wait, there's me! Desperately crave the- Okay, we're fine. Come here. Tried to anti-air him with that. I grabbed him, but he jumped. It kinda worked regardless. Somehow. Did we kill him in Shopee? I think we did, but he still ran away. Like, we depleted his life bar, but then he just ran. Like, the mission was over. <laughs> so I guess, uh, yes and is the answer to your question. Shang-Hei, Vega himself. They really just put Vega in this game. It's fucked up. Help. I'm gonna land this move. You can't stop me. Alright, maybe you can. That seems to be a running theme here, sir. Don't worry about me. You are a hero without equal. Oh, thank you, sir. Can I get a promotion, please? 
Ow! <gasps> nice. Are right, we killed him? <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is what Lu Bu did. When we defeated Lu Bu, that's he just kind of ran off like that. It was in a cutscene. He never ran for an escape point. I provoke you to roundest boy. He is very round. He's fun sized. It's not until you're playing a character like this that you realize how glacially paced Dynasty Warriors can be, and in fact, used to be. Hello? Nowadays, even the slow characters are fast, which is probably for the best. Yeah, the summon horse button helped a lot. I believe that started in either 5 or 6. We definitely cannot press the select button here. To call a horse. That would be nice. Sadly, not a thing yet. Yeah, the horse button is a huge convenience. I remember going through Dynasty Warriors 5 with, like, all of the characters, and once I got to this guy and I got to, like, Guan Yu, the other characters that run really slow, I'm just like, man, sometimes there will be whole, there will be, like, entire minutes where there's no action because we have to physically run all the way across the map. How many officers in one spot? What have I done? How many officers? Help me. Ah, now Yuan Shao has shown up. Retreat? But that's coward bitch talk, sir. That's bitch made, Lord Cao uh, Lord Cao Cao. Oh God, help! Okay, we got meat buns. We almost got Han Meng. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no bitch, my lord. <laughs> You're strong, but do not This is working out. We are just like destroying all of them. No, you're in too shallow, sir. Ow, rude. Excellent. Alright, that's all of them. He's a secret charge character. In Dynasty Warriors 5, possibly in this game too, I'm not sure. All of the, like, main leaders of the Three Kingdoms, so Sun Jian... Uh, Cao Cao Liu Bei. They all had the exact same orb move. They would throw a fireball if you just press triangle normally. With this character, it's a command grab. But with all three of them, it would just be an orb that they shoot out, and then it explodes like five seconds later. It was pretty bad. Cao Cao probably had the most useful one because it was like an ice ball. It froze everyone nearby. But even then, it's like, there's better moves to be doing. And in these old ones especially, there's usually a couple moves in your kit that are just complete dog shit. Usually it's not your whole kit that's worth it.
Now we need to get over on the left side where there's another conflict happening. Another big one, anyway. Shaho Dune's probably got this under control, not too worried about it. We need to get over west to that other big ball of red on the map. You make the freeze last longer. I'm sure we'll get there. The next time we're in a Muso mood, we're probably going to do Samurai Warriors 1, because we're, we've just been going in chronological order, pretty much, with numbered games. So we're probably going to do Samurai Warriors 1 next, then we'll do Dynasty Warriors 5, which I can't wait for that shit, it's going to be so good. And then we can do Samurai Warriors 2, and then... Warriors Orochi. But those will be staggered across many months, I'm sure. It's not all the time we're in a Muso mood. Today just happens to be the day. <laughs> Bujin Guy, Swordmaster. Nobody has asked for Bujin Guy more than you. Don't you worry. Gact will have his day. <laughs> The threat. The threat of Gact. He can show up at any moment on this show. You just never know, dude. He could be watching right now. He's just in the trees somewhere. He's in the bushes, lurking, skulking about, waiting for me to play Bujin Guy. You just never know. What does he do, do you think? Like, what does Gact do? I've never seen him do a normal human activity. So I assume he does, you know, weird shit. He's a singer-songwriter? I don't think that's right. I've never seen him do either of those things. He seems like he would brood, like, on top of a roof somewhere in the rain. Writing prose, perhaps. Right? But not one time have I ever seen him do a normal human activity. <laughs> I bow to your skills. Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends fixes the issue where you can't control your character when the combo starts. Oh, you mean like can't turn? I guess you can a little bit. These are all just regular mooks, but it's probably valuable that I kill them anyway. Yeah, lead the on without his curly hair. Dude, no, you know what's weird about playing older Dynasty Warriors games? You run into all these characters who are not, like, unique, playable characters yet. They're just regular dudes. <laughs> and the farther back you go, the more characters that is. Yeah, they don't have a unique weapon, they don't have a unique anything. Not a unique model, they're just a regular, generic guy. Yeah, it's Sal P. He doesn't have his cool, like, double sword yet. It's wild. Rude. Alright, I think we've cleaned things up enough there. 
clean things up enough, let's go after you on show. Lee Dion's unit is struggling. Aren't they just normal guys? Aren't these just normal troops? Surely you're not struggling with normal troops. There's no officers here. There's no Hulkamaniacs here. What are you struggling with exactly? I do want the archer dead. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, bro, step your game up. He's not even... He's not like... <laughs> I don't know why he's not as well equipped to deal with regular guys. And there's two of them. There's two officers there. They will have to step their game up. I'm just gonna leave that to them. Just gonna leave them. Leave them to their business. If they die, Lamau, I guess. <laughs> I do want to take out this gate. Yeah, acceptable losses. Such a satisfying grab. We lost a guy in the southeast. I don't know who lost down there. But we're already close enough to you on Shao that I'm not worried about it. Question is, are we gonna die in like one combo from him? Like how how bad is the situation going to be? These I can knock down, I'm pretty sure. These like archer towers. Yeah, okay. Obviously, we want all these down. Arrows whizzing by. Am I mighty enough to face Lu Bu in a one-on-one? -on -one? I was mighty enough to face him. I was not mighty enough to win. Unfortunately. But we did end up defeating him later with the help of some friends of ours. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> Wake up, command grab. No, I think Yuan Xiao's a unique guy at this point. I think he is. I could be wrong. I mean, he looks kind of generic. But I suppose he doesn't look any more generic than, like, Sun Jian at this point. Attacking alone? Do you want to die? Let's see. Need to try and lure him away into an isolated encounter. Because he'll be much more manageable if it's just him. If we pull him far enough away from all of his other guys... ...that it's roughly a one-on-one... -on -one, ...it should not be difficult to deal with at all. Just clear out this riff-raff.
He does pretty good damage. But not the most I've ever seen. Looks like when I go for an aerial charge attack that sometimes they just... turn my character around for me, so I understand... <laughs> I understand the comment from earlier about Extreme Legends fixed that. You're in too deep. Control yourself. Nah, we're not in too deep. This gate captain needs to die for sure, though. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now who's in too deep? There's archers back there. Quick detour. Quick detour. Ooh, Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Green Gale Productions, thank you for the follow. Need to get these archers off my screen. Okay. Ooh. All right, it's time to lay on the ground for a bit. Go get him, boys! You're doing great! Rattle him, my heroes! You give him steel, lads! They're doing great at, like, distracting him. Let's go! Show use banned for normal gameplay, but a god in one on one. I believe it. Shuju so far is, uh. Let's call him catastrophically slow. So we're trying to kill as much shit as possible in order to raise his stats enough. Character speed increases? That ain't the worst idea. Attack increase. I take it back. We're going all in on attack points. I need to hit hard. I need to kill fast and bullets too slow. I have unlocked a second pallet for this character. I finally upgraded my weapon, so now I have a five hit combo. Finally, we have a new move. <laughs> it's taken three hours, but we got a new move. We sure do. Way tails, Guan Yu's escape. He did leave during the last mission. Guan Yu had been serving under Cao Cao as a guest general, but upon learning the whereabouts of Liu Bei, he immediately leaves his ranks. Cao Cao respected Guan Yu, but also knew he was too dangerous to be made into an enemy once more. Cao Cao sends a force to prevent Guan Yu from escaping. You call him, always call him Cow Cow. I can't really blame you. That's what they did call him for the longest time. Give me, instead of the life max, give me the speed. Give me the very slight speed upgrade. Kill Guan Yu, I assume. Defeat Guan Yu or the carriage. Yeah, we do not have a horse right now. We have no harnesses to use that can summon one. So we're just chasing him down. Defeat Guan Yu or the carriage. Not both. 
One or the other. That should mean we can crit path the hell out of this one, right? Have you come to stop me? I know I cannot. So I am here to say goodbye, my friend. Next time we meet, we may be enemies. Until then, be well. <laughs> he stole red hair. Farewell, Guan Yu. I choose to believe he earned red hair. We'll have to eliminate him at some point anyway. Why not now? I don't have a horse, though, sir. I don't have a horse, though, sir. It's gonna be hard to catch him. He's a real speedy guy. Well, let's try and crit path this one and see what happens. <laughs> it's true, we can block a ball. It's just as good. I'm rolling. I'm rolling faster than any man has ever rolled before. But we can only do it so often. If we don't run far enough, we'll just get a normal attack. So we have to make sure we've rolled the right distance. Guan Yu's cleared the second gate. Mm -hmm. Your Reg. Emperor D, no of the Please Dynasty. <laughs> the Please Dynasty, thank you, Reg. Frog race has been redeemed. I don't suppose I could get a cheeky, like, speed boost out of this. That'd be very funny. Alright, fair enough. Thank you for the 100 bits. Frog race redeemed. Let's try and get, uh, out of this mess first. If that is at all possible. Ah, there it is. I am fast enough to keep up with you. Barely. We've destroyed the carriages, but Guan Yu does not stop. Ooh. Test of might. Lamau! I'll pass. <laughs> A little busy here, sir. No thanks. I will be your opponent. Hello. Oh, this is a mess. Ooh. I see. Alright, looks like we're not going to be able to catch that carriage. So we might have to try and kill Guan Yu instead. Which is a Herculean, almost impossible task. Unless we jump up and down a whole bunch. Yeah, his damage is very high. He's got, like, the Lu Bu buff during this mission. Oh, I got a speed boost. Wait a minute. Let me grab that. Let me grab, uh... Let me grab that attack bonus as well. I don't think we can catch that carriage from here, though. Even with the speed boost, I don't think we'd be able to. You will not reach my father, you scum. Oh, Guan Ping's not like a normal playable guy yet either. 
Yeah, I don't think we're catching this carriage. Wait a minute. Maybe. It's very tanky, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it stopped for us. Ah, now it's in motion again. Yeah, no, this thing's definitely on its way out. Yeah, we can't do much damage to it either. <laughs> what kind of defense does this thing have? We can barely do anything to it. Yeah, Guanping not playable yet. It's wild. We'll all follow your this thing is for sure gonna get away. Yo, what's up, Nab? You got your ear pierced. So every time he clears a gate, this thing keeps moving again, it seems. Another day in Jersey, I see. <laughs> Another day in Jersey, yep, just a normal day. Thank you, Danny, for the 550 bits total. We actually almost do have the carriage down. This may be possible, hold on. If I just keep kabooming the ground. This may be possible. The yeah, poster guy has arrived! Let's go! Can escape from me? There's more than one way to win. Danny Maddock, thank you for the 550 bits. Drix Karasu, thank you for the four whole years. And most importantly, prepare your new yen for the frog race. Yeah, we got a Columbo in this one. <laughs> in the middle of the map, Reebly, don't worry. It was like a six minute mission. You didn't miss a whole lot. All you saw was us chase after a carriage, struggle mightily. <laughs> it seems like you're on a pretty tight time limit though. Like you don't have that much time to destroy that carriage. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, the Repo Man. Thank you for the follow. Bets are pretty evenly split so far. Yeah, not with those stats. We still have horrendously low stats right now. But that's probably how it's going to be, because we are not. We haven't stuck with them from the beginning. What are you looking at? This is the frog race. People were betting on which frog that they think will win. Columbo is currently the favorite at 33%. Betting time is now closed, so I'm going to hit this little start button over here. And then they're going to go, and we're going to see who wins, and then we're going to pay out whoever was right. Frog number one's got the early lead. Frog number three pulls away. Everyone's even, though. Columbo gets there first. Lord Columbo has done it again. He just can't stop winning, folks. Never seen Columbo lose a frog race. He's that damn good. Pay it out. 416,000 new yen given to 36 lucky winners. There's a lot of winners on this one. Congratulations to all 36 of you.
My condolences to everybody who's now bankrupt. Uh, new yen, just completely new yen bankrupt. You absolutely hate to see it. Don't worry, you'll win the next one. You'll race Smash Brawl. Damn it, Jazz. Time to throw you out again. No. I, I can throw him out for you. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. My dude leveled up! <laughs> it's like we have new guys now. They ranked up to sergeant. They got better gear. Jinji now available. Poem has been redeemed. Sao Ren! Dude, Sao Ren fucking rules. I love him in every game. He's just got like a big shield with like a sword poking out of it. It's great. Act 4, the war against Liu Bei. <laughs> Sao Ren, the wall himself. It's a bit sandy out. Are we the bad guys? That's a complicated this question. Liu Bei is remarkable. He controls no land, but the people love him. Oh, when are they going to stop running? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Liu Bei's charisma, the Sun family's land, support of the people, and advantage of terrain. This sandstorm that is impeding our path may be our greatest obstacle to total conquest. Yeah, it's hard to pin down who are the bad guys exactly. It's kind of all of them, just to varying amounts. Having defeated his nemesis Yuan Shao Guan Du, Cao Cao takes control over the northern territories that once belonged to his longtime rival. As the ruler of the Central Plains, Cao Cao's become one of, if not the, most powerful leader in the land. There is one man whom Cao Cao considered to be a hero, and therefore a great threat. That man's name is Liu Bei. However, Liu Bei currently controls no land and is serving as a guest general under Liu Biao of the Jing province. Cao Cao advances his army towards Jing. Facing certain defeat, Liu Bei decides to flee. If Liu Bei is to reach the kingdom of Wu and an, al uh, and an alliance is formed, it would mean trouble, even for an army as formidable as Cao Cao's. Liu Bei must be stopped. Are they spelled correctly? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. A poem was redeemed, so let's throw it over to Stampede real quick. Hey Stampede, how about a poem? The ancient mist rolls into the streets, bare and dark before the fog. We walk the alleys and passages gathering things. Everyday mundane things, a loaf of bread, a bottle of wine, parts of a meal we prepare together and eat together. A normal meal on a normal night in a normal town draped in a perspiring cloud. I remember my other life with normal memories of a normal time long past. Mm, thank you, Stampede. It's very wise, very poignant. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Xiao Yun tends to be the poster boy. I mean, Zhao Yun's pretty cool, though. Even if you're, like, a professional shoe hater, and a lot of people are, even if you're, like, a professional shoe hater, Zhao Yun's kind of awesome, because he just single-handedly goes and he, like, rescues a baby, fights everyone with, like, one hand on, on his way back. It's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> I think that happens right here at Cheng Ban, actually. We might skip ahead to Chi-Bi. Because we want to make sure that we can finish this today. Naval showdown. Take out the Wu commander and the alliance will fall. Yeah, Bang Dong's great. Ah, I guess we do. I guess we gotta do Chong Ban. I guess we gotta. No, Chong ba Chong Ban's the one with the, the with the bridge where. Zhang Fei is like, this bridge belongs to me, no one's allowed on this bridge. And then Zhao Yun is rescuing a baby. I'm pretty sure that's this one. We'll do it. 
defeat Liu Bei. Defeat! Cao Cao is defeated, or Liu Bei reaches the escape point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We gotta chase after another guy. You rep Shu, not because they're good people, but because they're green? Can't believe it. We'll tell you what. All my generals, my generals right now, now they're wearing green. How does that make you feel? Now that's a moral conundrum for you to figure out. I wish I could equip two tiger amulets. I guess we're gonna go with the life max upgrade because we're about to be doing some really stupid shit. All right, let's go. Yeah, the bodyguard names. I don't know why we were given the option to give them all English names. <laughs> Just normal, like, white guys. Oh, yeah, we got a new guy. We got Nicholas. Look at him go. How do you get here? How do you get to circa 200 China? I'm grabbing. I'll do it again. Come here. Okay, it's getting a lot easier to kill generals now. We can't fall behind. So we need to make a beeline for the generals, because they're the ones that actually give us, like, you know, useful rewards for killing them. Oh, that's sick! I don't know how the game gave me that grab, but I accept it. Gan Ning is my absolute favorite character, Rising Phoenix. When we play Dynasty Warriors 5, we're probably going to pick him again. Probably going to play him again. That's my boy. That's my son, dude. Yeah, no, he's great. He, well, Godning is really fucked up in Dynasty Warriors 5 because he gets a charge attack that, like, loops into itself infinitely. You know, the, like, fire tornado that he gets? I don't know what they were thinking with that move. It just loops into itself until they die. <laughs> they can't even, like, air recover out of it most of the time. It's absurd. Godning is the best boy. He's kind of a shithead. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't know if he's a good guy. He's kind of a shitter. <laughs> but I love him. They are, strong, but do not fall. are there any officers around here? Or is this all... These are all just troops fighting. Seems that way. Trying to prioritize the people that matter... At least we can roll. Xiao Yun! Uh oh. My spear shall answer all. Yeah, let's go. I ain't afraid of you. I got a command grab. All right, John Poster Boy. So you wanna play? Let's dance. Ooh. 
Okay. He doesn't want me to grab him. I understand. Whoa! Oh, he's input reading. Wait a minute. That makes so much more sense. I'm like, how does he... How does he know to jump? He's fucking input reading. Got it. I actually love the duel mechanic. I like it a lot. I wish it was in more things. I think that the duel mechanic is harmless because it's opt-in. Right? You never have to do it. You press a button to do it if you want. It being opt-in kind of negates all of its potential downsides. Where was that meat bun? Excuse me? No, I was ready this time. Okay, we got him. So we're officially off script. We're officially off script. He is not supposed to be defeated here. I do want your horse, though. It'll be very useful. I can't seem to commandeer your horse. There it is. Yeah, we're breaking cannon. Xiao Yun is not supposed to be defeated at the Battle of Changban. He's supposed to run away with a baby. They are strong, but do not falter. The gate captain must be defeated. The enemy is strong. It's nice that we've got, like, respectable damage now. I am going to lay here and build meter, though. This way. Enemy ambush from whomst? The enemy is strong. You want a piece of me? Oh, God. Well, then, come and get it. Yeah, Zhang Fei's uh, role in this battle was to guard this bridge. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> it's what I would say. Let's go. So you wanna play? Nice. Wait, how do you heal yourself? That's fucked up. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, fair enough. All right, we got nothing accomplished, really. Out of my way, 
Weakling, I'll show you. We actually were pretty close, but then he somehow, like, healed himself. Which is super fucked. If we can kill everyone else nearby... ...and we get it down to just him... ...it should be very manageable, despite his absolutely nuclear damage. I'm in trouble. Oh, hell yeah, give me that. All right, this should not be too bad. Nice juggle. Oh, they really do input read your grab attempts. That's so wild. Every time we go for one, he's like, I'm going to jump over this. He's too smart. There we go. Not too bad at all. We got four attack up for that. <laughs> what a jip! Haven't heard that in a while. We must not fall behind. Okay, we gotta go up the middle. Because there's a big red shit show happening up there. We're gonna go up this bridge. Yeah, 614 weapon EXP. We're gonna go up this way, go west, and then we're gonna go down the other bridge. And just kind of kill all those officers in a row. If we can. If we survive. <laughs> Something tells me that line's not in the history books. That would be very funny, though. Zhuge Liang! Uh-oh. Didn't realize he was here. <laughs> He's gonna lame me out with fireballs or some shit. A Liu Bei stronghold has appeared and a number of escape points have showed up. You must catch and eliminate Liu Bei. Where is he? Ow. I'm just in the middle of a big old mess. Just a big ball of fun. It's hard to tell what exactly is going on. Yeah, the horse is completely fine with what's going on all around him. The horse does not care at all about all this violence. Not perceiving it, not having any of it. Liu Bei is where? Okay, so we are in his path. This Dynasty Warriors 4, uh, Geeko. The game we're playing is always written at the top of the screen. So that means Liu Bei has to go past us anyway, which is great.
I can't tell what's going on, y'all. Can you? I just can't. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just trying to do this attack to save my life. Is the exit not the south bit? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Let me see. Objectives. Escape point. I guess it is, yeah. Alright, hold on. Let's chase after him then. They actually do input read quite a bit, yeah. This In this game. I don't think I'm going to be able to hijack a horse in these conditions. We might have to just run for it. It looks like Liu Bei is not actually in a hurry to reach that escape point. He is, like, right next to it, but he doesn't seem too fussed with reaching it. We might just roll after him, because that horse is going to be out of the question. See you nerds later! The main camp is under attack. Excuse me? We've got problems everywhere, it seems. How many officers are in their main camp? Or in my main camp? There's no officers in there. Unit info. Cao Cao is right here. He is... Flanked by Zhu Ling. There are no enemy officers anywhere near him, which means that he's fighting jobbers, and I probably don't need to care. Probably. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, random soldier got a hit in, and the game's like, you need to go rescue your boy, he's literally dying. Despite that most likely not being true. There's Liu Bei. You're in here somewhere. Oh god. <laughs> Where'd you hear that line from, Liu Bei? Somebody much cooler than you, I'd bet. Oh, I need that. I need that desperately, thank you. We are so back. They've actually done a pretty good job clearing out this area just by ground pounding a bunch. You're gonna let me do this. You're gonna let me do this. It's gonna be great. I know that you really don't want me to pound the ground this frequently. You seem hell-bent on not letting me do this move, but you're gonna let me do it. I know you're trying your absolute best to input read this shit. Ooh, give me that meat bun. Whoa. That's pretty big damage. I am being pushed back. More meat buns! I'm on my way. I'm hungry, thank you. We must not fall behind. Where did Guan Yu go? He is behind me, okay. He absolutely has to be dealt with. Like, right now. Well, he's dealt with. Through no... Through no effort of mine. <laughs> he was defeated by my bodyguards, who have become quite formidable in their own right. Yo, Mr. Radon! If you watch a Musu and don't just smile and go hell yet to the TV screen every few minutes, please consult a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Your Twitch, thank you for the 30 bits as well. Mr. Radon, thank you for the 330 bits. Not giving Twitch any credit. 
I mean, it is the ultimate hell yeah of a genre. We talked about it earlier, but it's definitely like the junk food of genres. I cannot die here. Not before the Han is restored. You know, affectionate in parentheses. <laughs> Brodo Garmin. We'll show them who's who. I mean, Suju. <laughs> TTS tried. He took a shot. He nailed the accent, though, hasn't he? Luck increases. We don't need luck. We can make our own luck. Level 8 attack increase. That I do need, though. Cavalry armor. Mounted defense. No thanks. Level 9? Oh, baby. Weapon upgrade. We still don't have a 6 attack combo. Our bodyguards are level 6 now. Or they're level 3. They went up to 6, so we can have 6 with us. Moving south, Cao Cao's army catches up to Liu Bei at Changban. Liu Bei's men fight valiantly, but are no match for Cao Cao's well-trained troops. They're scattered and forced to retreat. Liu Bei's remaining force is led by Zhu Ye Liang attempt to shake off Cao Cao's pursuit by changing direction, heading towards Bo Wan Po. Meanwhile, Liu Bei himself prepares a fleet to escape into Wu territory. Alright, let's skip ahead to Chibi. We should probably crit path from, like, here on out, or else we're gonna be here for, like, ten hours. Yo, what's up, Trap? Where are we going? What are we doing? Defeat Sun Jian! I can do that. At least we have a very simple objective this time. We don't have to, like, chase after a guy. Yeah, I'm fine with these items. Set bodyguards. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> skip the entire I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're on a we're on a schedule here. The good news is we just unlocked Liam. Ooh, I unlocked Pikeman. I didn't have Pikeman before. Sword Spear Pike. These are new. I guess we gotta dress him in blue because we're playing his way. We can also, if we keep leveling them up, we can unlock Vigo and Toshiro. <laughs> you know, they're just normal names that Chinese bodyguards would have circa 220-ish whenever this happened. It's totally normal. There's nothing odd about that. It is I who will win this battle and rule over the land. Lord Hang Kong is acting a bit strangely. Mm. <laughs> They're pretty good. So Chibi is the one with all the boats on fire, yeah? If I'm remembering this right. All I remember about Chibi is it's boats on fire, the mission. <laughs> Okay, just making sure. Yeah, many much boats. Zhuge Liang's magic show. It's definitely real. It's definitely totally real magic. Yeah, that makes sense. Juran. set up in the enemy camp. I thought Zhu Ron was a girl. Who am I thinking of? Zhu Ron, that's right. The one with uh, the one with Meng Huo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting my names mixed up.
Let's hit this, uh, let's hit this southeast corner. Take out all the officers as we go. <laughs> yeah, I smashed him good. He's so proud of himself. Command grab. Command grab. Who dares? Yo, Brad! Thank you for the raid. How are things? Shu Shang! How'd the stream go? Yeah, we were in the Muso mood today. Every so often. So far, it's been at a rate of about once every three months. Once every, like, three months or so, I'm just inevitably in a Muso mood. I just want to press all the buttons. Today was very much that day. <laughs> Can't make chat work on stream. Talking about like OBS. The tech is to uh, set up a browser. I can't even give a tutorial because I haven't done it in so long. I set that up like once when I started streaming and then never again. So I'm not even the right guy to ask for that tutorial, unfortunately. There are archers in my vicinity. I'm a little worried about it. Never mind, chicken! All is well. I have procured chimkin. Ah, rude. Ah. Chicken. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of archer chicken. hell. Chicken. There are some gate captains around here. We need to make sure they're the gone at least. As Lord this is good. The ships will be stable now. Oh, I didn't know Pang Tong was a playable character at this point. I knew he was in five. I didn't know he was by this point. I I love Pang Tong. He's cool. <laughs> He's so chill in these games too. He's like weirdly relaxed compared to everyone else. Yeah, just insert chicken into the wound. It'll patch it up like a band-aid. That's how it works. The enemy is strong. There you go. Have you ever played Skyrim? You can just eat like 25 cheese wheels. When you take damage, you'll be fine. Just right as rain. That's all you gotta do. Apply food to wound. I'm not sure how it's applied exactly. Maybe you just like rub it on there. <laughs> I'm not winning these jousting battles trying to like knock them off their horse. They always get me first. The Wu General Huang Gai wishes to surrender. He is already headed for our position. Huang Gai wants to surrender. He would never. That doesn't sound right. This sounds like an elaborate ruse. Can you not replace the troops we lost at Chen Wan in time? Chimkin, yes. I guess we're just gonna sweep from east to west. Oh no. He's doing magic. There is no magic here. Never mind, he's not. I lied. 
I know the southeast wind will blow on this day. It's not magic. My task is done here. Can you imagine how powerful, if you're like a meteorologist in ancient China, you're like the smartest man alive, right? Like, if you're just the weather guy, back in the Three Kingdoms... <laughs> if you're just a normal weather guy, they're gonna be asking for your wisdom. How did you know? what the weather would be. Teach me your ways, O oh wise sage. Whoa! Nice. Ooh. Ah, you were wise to block that. <laughs> so far, pretty much all of these have ended in a draw. I would have said we could go for a command grab there to circumvent him blocking, but so far they've input read every grab attempt. So I don't think that would have worked either. It's gonna lay here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somehow I got the grab, but also didn't. The grab animations do not work quite right in this game. You can grab someone, and then quite frequently they'll just kind of fall out of the animation if they get hit by anyone else on screen. It's how P is struggling. It's because he's not a playable character yet. He didn't get the buff. He didn't get the playable character buff. The Allied's going for a fire attack! Ow. Oh, you're so dead, baby girl. Joe is pretty cool in Dynasty Warriors of One. He's got some <laughs> he's got some cool strings. We can't fall behind. Who am I rolling up on? Is that soon Oh god. Am I at the main base? It is. Ah, I've made an error. <laughs> I'm gonna take a detour, kill everybody else first. I'm gonna just pretend that he doesn't see me. I'm gonna go around this way. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna pretend like he's not chasing me right now. My boats. They're burning. Yeah, housekeeping! <laughs> yeah! The winds are feeding the flames. <gasps> Let's start up here. Well, I can't exactly put those flames out, but what I can do is kill everyone. Including my beloved God Ning, unfortunately. Whoop! We 
must all follow your example. Uh oh. We're always too far out, friend. That's where we live. We live too far out. Now, Gottening's Muso is only death if you get, like, pressed up against a wall by it. I'm very thankful that he just faced the wrong way and got hit by that. Like, he just walked into a corner, and he was like, please don't beat me up, and then we killed him. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Lu Meng. Who else is right here? There's two officers on my screen. Who's the other one? Oh god. Give me that. Thank you. Huge damage. I think it is Huang Guy. No, no, no. I think Huang Guy is in the middle. Because he set the boats on fire in the first place. There's somebody else near me. Lu Shun, perhaps? The Get ready. Crying Shield, thank you for the follow. No, there's nobody else here. Perhaps I was seeing things. A vision. A mirage, perhaps. I will be commandeering this horse. I don't know how to drive a horse, but I can give it a shot! Do you need a license for a horse? Like you do other modes of transport? <laughs> They're pretty good. Is that a thing? Do you need a horse license? I would much prefer if you did need one, because that sounds really funny to me. <laughs> what a slow horse! It's only one horsepower! Yeah, you gotta take an entire test. You gotta take, like, a horse test. That would be really funny, because instead of, like, there being the... the other guy in the car that's, like, grading you on your driving... You're just both on the same horse. And you're in front, and they're they're in behind. They're like they're behind you. They're like hugging you to hold on to the horse. <laughs> it's a very funny mental image. Come here. Damn. He really does input read every grab attempt. That's crazy. This man's blocks are insane! Where are you? Where have you gone? You get your ass back here! Don't you run from me, coward! Ooh. That's what I thought. For the sake of my lord, I cannot fall here. I can't be mad at you, Xiao Yun. You've got a cool headband. I can't be mad at John Headband. We can't fall behind. Now it looks like there's a whole mess this way. Wait! We gotta kill Huang Guy. We mustn't forget the man who started the fire. 
Is that the Dino, please? Oh, you've got the wrong guy. I'm sorry. Never heard of him. He's, uh, he's next door. He's at, uh, twitch.tv slash Bluto. Uh, the guy that does this stream, he's a paid actor. He sounds very similar. Different guy. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh! <laughs> yeah, I knew it! Yeah, the Dino Please show is filmed in front of a live studio audience. They really hated the, uh, they really hated the, the new actor who plays the part of Dino, please. They thought that the series had jumped the shark once they brought in the new guy. Uh-oh. Okay, we're doing good. <laughs> it shattered beyond repair. I will never emotionally recover from this. Anyway, yeah, hi, hello. Happy to see you. Have you gotten here from the Lythero videos, perhaps? Oh, he healed himself. That's against the rules. I'm gonna lay down and build meter. Goat himself, Zizix underscore. I know that guy. He's pretty cool. <laughs> he streams every day at uh, twitch.television slash Zizix underscore. He might even be on right now. Because he streams every day. Like a lunatic. Let's go and cover this mess in the southwest corner of the map. Whatever's going on over here, we need to clean it up. Eh. Hopefully we can procure some meat buns from these boxes. Eh? Huh? Arrows! Do I look like a zoner to you? Eh? Hans, the Hans is difficult to pilot. What kind of meat do I like in my meat bun? I could go for a nice pork, perhaps. I'm not too picky. Oh, you're so dead. RIP. <laughs> I didn't realize how much damage that would do. This whole stream has just been the story of one man rolling across China. Just literally rolling. Juan. Wait a minute, I thought I got you. Alright, we gotta lame this out a little bit. Rotate. 
Ooh. We're in danger here. Okay. Oh, chicken! What a blessed drop. Hello. Real final boss is trying to get on the horse. That was very good, chicken RNG. Chicken. All right, soon, Jian. I'm ready. Never mind. There's one man in the way. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. I got the first bounce, but then we got hit out of it. He's actually weirdly mobile for such a big guy. Because we even when we do our launcher, we can still come down with the ground pound. A temporary Q&A. I mean, you can always ask me questions. <laughs> There's no rule against it. As long as you're not asking for things. Asking for things is different than just asking things. Because the backlog is already a mile long. I can't add any more games to it. What's my favorite? You'll have to be more specific. Who's my favorite? You're my favorite. But don't tell anyone I told you that. They'll get really jealous. <laughs> hey, Dino! What? <laughs> Not slipping by Shuju or Hagar. Shuju! You have a slightly better chance to get away from. He has a roll move, granted, but he has to, there's a lot of startup to it. Hagar, on the other hand, can just plink dash at you, so there's no shot. You're not getting away from him. <laughs> Unless you're Magneto, I suppose. Now that we've leveled Shuju up a bit, it's feeling real good. I think that's a unique model for Soon Jian. The problem with Soon Jian is he just looks generic at this point. At some point, they got rid of his helmet and he had, like, the gray hair, right? He didn't have that yet. It is still a unique model, it's just not a very interesting one. Yeah, I prefer him with the hair out as well. Club upgrade, yes. If I wanted one Marvel and one Capcom character in MVC3, who'd they be? Uh, Seem a ye playable. Literally, who Zheng? Hey, let's fucking go. One Marvel and one Capcom character. It'd be Nightcrawler for Marvel. And probably Lin Kurosawa for Capcom. Right into our trap. You fool! Rusty toasty, good timing. Fight. Now there is no way that we can fail. You pay, you will soon bow before me. And all those that follow you shall do the same. 
I don't think he can hear you. You're quite some distance away. Wei is fresh off their victory over the combined forces of Wu and Shu at Chibi. But Cao Cao regrets letting Liu Bei escape. Before long, Cao Cao begins preparations for a strike against Liu Bei. He sets out west from Chibi and takes the Shu capital of Chengdu for his own. Furthermore, Liu Bei prepares his troops so they're ready to march north and attack Wei, should the opportunity arise. Cao Cao, giving this matter his full attention, appoints his top strategist Sima Yi to deal with the Shu threat. Upon hearing this news, Shu gives the order to begin the campaign north. The Shu army slowly approaches the border territory between Shu and Wei. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors 3 has, like, legendary voice acting. The Battle of Wuzhong Plains. This is... Is this the... Are we at the end? Surely not. When you're playing as a lot of Shu characters, this is usually the end. But I feel like the Wei story probably goes a bit farther in this game. Either way, we're going to crit path it so that this isn't like a eight hour stream, I suppose. Mount Ding June is cool, but yeah, let's uh, we'll crit path second to last main stage. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah, no, Nightcrawler was not in any Marvel games. Marvel vs. Capcom, there was never a playable Nightcrawler. I'm actually really upset about it because he was my favorite X-Man. They never did shit with Nightcrawler. It would have been so cool. It would have been so awesome. Alas. Defeat Zhuge Liang. We lose if Sima Yi is defeated. I don't know. I think Nightcrawler would be cool. It's not like there's any shortage of teleporting characters in Marvel 3. You can play as Nightcrawler in uh, Marvel, not uh, uh, X Men Mutant Academy. <laughs> yeah, Marvel Nemesis. Yeah. I agree. It'd be pretty sick. Wuzhong Plains. Yeah, Nightcrawler's always been my favorite X Man. He's great. I'm a big fan of Gambit, but Gambit's been in several. Command grab. Yeah, Nightcrawler's just a silly blue guy. Not to be confused with the other blue guy in the X-Men. There's just two of them. There's multiple blue men. The other one's not as silly, it's true. Why are we still horseless? Well, you see, we have never collected a harness for a horse. Ma Chow! I love Ma Chow. I'm gonna kick his ass. Here I go. So you wanna play? Why does Shu Zhu, as the larger man, not simply eat Ma Chow? What a parry! This motherfucker healed himself, of course he did. <clears throat> We're getting nowhere fast in these duels. It seems like... They block too much for these to really be, like, winnable. Although it looks like he's not good at blocking my whole string. Sometimes a hit'll get through. 
Like, none of these have ever ended in a conclusion, except for the time where we dueled Lu Bu and we died. It otherwise seems more or less impossible to win those, especially if they heal themselves. <laughs> Nightcrawler. Why is Mystique my Vator and not my mother? This makes things way too fabulous. <laughs> TTS really nailed the accent. Thank you, Nightcrawler. It's either you either have to be overpowered for the duels, which and maybe that's true. It's either that or there's like some kind of an exploitable AI pattern that we have not picked up on. And that's probably more likely. Yeah, because there is the unblockable with R3. We haven't really been using it. Mostly we haven't been using it because I keep forgetting it's in this game, because it's like the only game it's in. <laughs> Have I played any of the modern ones? I've played six, I've played seven. I have not played eight or nine. No, I don't think we have a guard counter. We do have a parry though, but that requires a prediction and not a reaction. Four is the top. Four is pretty good. My favorite will always be five though, I think. But I mean, everyone's got everyone's got a different favorite Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> I am in dire straits. This motherfucker healed himself again. I waited till he pressed a button. <laughs> lay on the ground, build meter. This is this is how all the pros do it. They just lay here. Cause it doesn't seem like they can hit you while you're down. Almost got him. One more. Give me one more. I think my bodyguards are going to kill him, even. Let's go. I have no regrets. Poor guy. What are these names? They're uh, Chinese people. Oh, you mean the bodyguards? No, they're not Chinese people. They're just normal dudes. There's normal white guys here in ancient China for some reason. They're very out of place. They're LARPing, perhaps. Or maybe they time traveled? I'm not sure what the lore is. Yeah, Arnold, I'm not sure what the lore is on the. <laughs> on our very not Chinese bodyguards. Yeah, there's a Clint, there's an Arnold, there's a Liam, I believe. We had a Clint. I should have grabbed a horse. There was a horse. We have abandoned it in ignorance. And now we are back to rolling around. I don't like that they're pushing that top right corner of the map. It looks like they're advancing. So I guess I'm gonna run all the way through this mess and try and secure that northeast corner before shit gets any worse over there. Yeah, not, not able to summon a horse yet. In later games, we could press like the select button to whistle for a horse. Can you change your loadout? What do you mean? We can equip different items, yeah. Even 
even my death cannot impede our march. Oh, that's right. Zhuge Liang is sick at this point, right? He's like dying of illness. Onward. To our Lord's glory. Yeah, you don't like change weapons in this one. You just level up the one that you have. Alone. All units regroup and launch a counterattack. It looks like they're retreating now. They are now running towards me on this bridge. <laughs> what do we got? <gasps> Don't you run from me, coward! Get back here! Shoo shoo! Carry me with my money. Rolling around at Whoa. the speed of way. Got places to go. Got to follow Cow Cow. <laughs> Very good. He does almost exclusively roll around to travel. I mean, it just turns out it's a very efficient way to travel when you're an almost perfectly round man. Like, he rolls good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just science. Mega Man Zero looking ass, you'll have to be way more specific on which character. <laughs> Honestly, Mega Man Zero is like the worst prequel of all time, right? If we assume that Mega Man Zero is the prequel to Mega Man 1. Dude, there's none of the same characters. What's going on in this game? It's the worst prequel ever. Can't believe it. What's even going on in this game? It's all bullshit. Oh, we got one hook, line, and sinker, chat. We got someone to believe I was serious. Let's go! Yeah, zero is the number before one. I mean, honestly, the whole thing's a sham. <laughs> Don't math up a meme. I mean, it's just... It's what they called it. What do you mean? The trick is to be serious enough that people believe you when you start bullshitting. <laughs> and at least I know I have the ability to do that. That's valuable information. <laughs> so looks like a PS2 game? Correct. Well observed. Is one of the very few PS2 games. How many PS2 games were there, even? You had, like, Dynasty Warriors. You had Final Fantasy X. Tekken 4. That's, like, all of them. There's, that's pretty much it. There's at least two Godzillas. That sounds made up. I don't believe you. Is apparently the portion of the stream where I just lie through my teeth. I don't know how we arrived here, but... <laughs> it's, it's currently where my brain is at. Just start lying. <laughs> yeah, hour five of a Dino stream. Where the brain just starts coming up with bullshit. 
Although I gotta say, this game has been a lot more relaxing to play through than Dynasty Warriors 2 and 3. In Dynasty Warriors 2 and 3, you are fighting for your fucking life, right? Dynasty Warriors 2 is pretty hard. Dynasty Warriors 3 is about as hard. It is it's more difficult in some ways, but also easier in other ways. This is the first one where you can kind of run into danger and not be screwed. <gasps> he lied! Retreat! It's a trap! Look at that accidental theming. It's crazy. PS2 was popular as a DVD alternative. True. I used my PS1 back in the day. I used my PS1 as a CD player a lot. Because it had that neat little visualizer, right? You could make it rain. There's like the cool spinny one. <laughs> you could change the color, you could change the speed of it. It was great. Oh god, I'm dying, Cloud. I'm dying, Squirtle. It could run Blu-ray? What's Blu-ray? Sounds like some made-up bullshit compared to Lord HD DVDs. Help. Help. I desperately want to ground pound these archers. Come here. Whoop. The damage on that's crazy good. Gotcha. That didn't do a whole lot, though. Where'd he go? You. Prime Minister? Was you Gay Leong the Prime Minister at this point? I know that he was like the main guy in this battle. I didn't realize that's what they called him. <laughs> I need to get out of this fucking archer town. There's just archers as far as the eye can see. I desperately need to leave. I know that I'm running towards more trouble. But as long as it's not archers, I'm not too worried about it. Let us join our allies. This is an archer tower, though. Alright, that's not... I can't actually destroy this one. That means they're up on the wall, then? Okay. Can I get up here? No, Shuju can almost reach that, though. That'd be sick. Ooh. That's an archer tower. That can be destroyed. Let me see if there's any crates around here. My <laughs> favorite character is Clint, yeah. Of my bodyguards, my favorite one's probably Arnold. But if we're talking actual Dynasty Warriors characters, uh, Gan Ning, easily.
But as far as Wei characters go, I don't like that many Wei officers. I like Dion Wei. I like Xu Zhu. That's mostly it. Who is this to my left? Who is that? That is Yuge Liang, okay. I do like Sao Ren, that's true. I like a few. They're all big and slow, though. Mercifully, we can go a little faster by rolling. I'm gonna take a quick pit stop at this base captain. This, uh, the, the guard captain, rather. Because there's probably boxes over here. Hopefully one of these has a meat bun for us. Yes, sir! That'll do! <laughs> now you want a meat bun? What's your go-to when you order Chinese? My dice seal the stronghold. They're getting kind of close to my shit. Hold on. I might have to handle that first. Walnut prawns. I am I'm a pretty simple man. I I, I can do I can do an egg foo young. <laughs> I'm a big egg foo young enthusiast. I don't think I can leave that I don't think I can leave the top center of the map alone here. Because it looks like they're advancing towards my main base, and I really can't let that happen. We kind of have to deal with this now. I think it'll be fine. Them getting to the base is not our lose condition. Our lose condition is Cao Cao dying. And the chance of that happening is pretty low. But the fact that they're that close to my territory is troublesome. So we gotta go and take them out just to make sure that Cao Cao is safe. Actually, wait. That's Sima Yi, right? Hold on. I think I'm an idiot. Yeah, no, that's Sima Yi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Pogo Stick towards. I don't think this is very fast. Yeah, that's my bad. No, that's Sima Yi we gotta cover. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care for Sima Yi very much. I think he's kind of a dork, honestly. <laughs> he is better in 8, I agree with that. As mentioned, Dynasty Warriors 5 is my favorite one, and he is like an ineffect he's like an ineffective cartoon villain in Dynasty Warriors 5. He is just the most uh, nothing burger of a villain where he has a plan. And then Zhuge Liang outsmarts him, and he goes, Drat, you outsmarted me! And then he runs away, and he makes a new plan, and then you outsmart him again. And it's just... He just gets nothing done. He's such a jobber in that game. <laughs> he does get better, though, and he does get cooler, I agree. Whoa! It's a mess! Thank you for leading me to the chicken. This doesn't look good. Where'd he go? Is he still alive? I think I got him. No, I haven't. He's in this mess somewhere. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors has a story. Pretty much all of them. 
I mean, it's based loosely on real events. <laughs> <laughs> Huge quotes on the word loosely. Let us go as well. I think I think that's everyone. Main base is covered? Okay. It's time to advance. Yeah, trust me, bro. <laughs> How old of a book is the Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Like, I know that's what this game is based on, but it itself is a very old book, yeah? 14th century? Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. So it's hard to say, really, how accurate anything is. straight up the middle. Frog race has been redeemed. We'll do that after the conclusion of this mission. Woo! Hey. Hey there. Let me do my cool ground pound, please. <laughs> Thank you. It really does feel like we're playing Karnov when we're just fishing for our one good air move. I have played Samurai Warriors games, yeah. Samurai Warriors 2 Empires is my favorite one by far. I love Samurai Warriors 2 Empires. It is such a replayable game. There is an archer tower here that I would like to be rid of. Thank you. Warriors All-Stars? Yeah, I've seen it. I have not played it, though. Spirit of Sonata. I actually bought my uh, younger brother Spirit of Sonata because he's also very big into these games. It looked very cool. I actually like the idea of taking, you know, a smaller handful of characters from these games and giving them specifically a more fleshed out story. That's what Spirit of Sonata was. I would love for them to do that with more characters because it's a good idea. Yeah, smash him good. What is my win con? Is my win con Zhuge Liang? No, okay. I'm like, why is he here if there's somebody further back? Soul Calibur Muso, that'd be cool. It's hard to it's hard to stream any of these games without like the hypothetical <laughs> without the hypothetical what would be your IP of choice to be a Muso. It's generally a pretty foolproof genre though. It's got legs like you wouldn't believe. You could do anything with it, really. As long as it feels good to hit dudes. Like that's half the battle. A 
we not too far out? Don't you worry, your pretty little head, Clint. We are too far out. Does that mean we give up, Clint? Nay, I say. Means we fight harder. The streamer has utilized the game mechanics. Can you believe it? The streamer has used an unblockable to break a block. <laughs> There we go. Alright, here's the situation. They're clearly advancing towards Sima Yi. <laughs> There's clearly people advancing towards Sima Yi, but we're so far out that we just have to bum rush Liu Bei and hope that we kill him first. Because they're clearly in my main base as well. And we just gotta go, dude. I cannot go this way, though. Main camp under attack. Wait a minute, how do I get Liu Bei out of there, then? Oh, I see. I'm on the wrong side of this bad boy. I gotta go around or some shit. How much trouble are you in up there? They're not to you yet. Who are you fighting? Who's fighting who? Oh, that's Zhao Yun up there. Oh, there's no way that he wins. There's no way that Sima Yi wins up there. We gotta go. I'm on the case, don't worry. If we don't deal with Zhao Yun now, <laughs> there's no way. Sima Yi's not gonna beat him. It's gonna take a while to get there, though. At least we can go right up the middle. This doesn't look good. Yeah, I don't think Sima Yi will die by the time we get there. Sao Zhen might. Which wouldn't be great, either. How did Zhao Yun even get past us? I thought we dealt with him already. I guess it's fine. Yeah, play the general yourself. My favorite instance... I've probably said this before. I've probably said this before, but my favorite mission... in any Warriors game... Believe it or not, it's in Hyrule Warriors. It's when you first get to play as Ganondorf. Because you look at the win condition and lose condition, and it says the win condition, defeat everyone, and the defeat condition is blank. It's completely blank. <laughs> it's great, I love it. Ganondorf would never lose. <laughs> okay, we got him off the horse. That's half the battle. We were talking about Hyrule Warriors, yeah. And while I definitely, I definitely prefer Dynasty Warriors 5 to Hyrule Warriors, there are a lot of things about Hyrule Warriors that I do enjoy. Yeah, we gotta take the horse back for sure, or else it's gonna be a really long walk. Tetsuo! You can't do a move so stream without Mephor coming in and ranting about the genre while playing some jank unplayable Amiga game. I probably could. He doesn't show up around here that often. <laughs> Thank you for the 333! 
Got him. I could not ask for more. All right, let's take that horse back to the main camp. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where did that Hans go? We can't fall behind. Where is that Hans? There you are. It's not even marked on the map. Cool. Oh, big. This will be slightly faster. Having a fun one? Yeah, I love this game. My one true love is definitely Dynasty Warriors 5. But you can't really go wrong with any of them. <laughs> Have I tried the other Nintendo series one? Fire Emblem? No. I've never played a Fire Emblem. Let alone any of the spin-offs pertaining to it. If I'm being honest... More of an Advance Wars guy. Who's my favorite CEO? Sammy. <laughs> Not the archers, no! There's so many archers! If I fight all the way in the back... If we fight all the way back here, the archers probably can't fire. Probably. Oh, this is a mess. Help. Uh-oh, the archers can still fire. Oh, I see. There's a group of them closer than the rest. Ooh, ow, my bones. Ooh. Whoa! What an anti-air. I have pushed him out of bounds. I cannot hit him whilst he is out of bounds. I have absolutely no backup over here. Absolutely zilch. Amazing. Don't need it. Never mind. My bodyguards are here. All of a sudden, they formed up. I don't know where the boys came from, but they're here all of a sudden. Woo. Kick his ass, boys. We got him boxed in. We got him boxed in behind two horses. He's stuck. You box him in behind the horses. It's so fucking funny. Almost. Acted like you won't get command grabbed. I smashed them good. I shall return to the guard. Yeah, just juggle him out. Just <laughs> push him into the out-of-bounds zone. He just disappears. Thank you. We have a frog race to do that got redeemed about 13 minutes ago by Danny. I've been told that we have one more mission left in the Way storyline. But before we do that... 
prepare your new yen, folks. Alrighty then, chat room. I ask you a simple question. Which of these four frogs crosses the line first? Place your bets. I can't go broke again, Chad. <laughs> It's always a gravy day around here. I could try to get a riding fight 1cc, that'd be fun. That game is fucking impossible, though. There's only one person on the planet Earth who's good at it, and his name is Murphagator. Alright, betting time is over. Scrunkly Bingus, unsurprisingly, favored to win. A horse not far behind. Best of luck, everyone. One and four pull away first. Frog number one runs all the way to the end. What is this? Okay, well. He's kept running. He's kept running and never stopped. Can we get a T.O. out here? What was in that sandwich? Can we get a referee? We need to analyze this bloodstream. Something about that didn't seem right. Alright, we gotta pay it out. Pay it out to frog number one. I think he's juicing. Or something. Some kind of illicit substances that frog is taking. 280,000 new yen given to 17 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 17 of you. Yeah, hold up, this was a robbery, I'm in the black again. <laughs> many, many fortunes being won and lost at the frog race. Throw it over to Stampede for an intermission. Hey Stampede, how about a poem? Inside eight identical cylinders mm. are eight alike pistons, and eight individual rods connect to one fine balance crank, which turns a timing chain that runs the cam, that lifts the lifters, and rocks the rockers, and impels the valves, which bears the bore to gas-air mixture, which when ignited by the coil burns like hellfire, whose oxidation causes expansion inside eight identical cylinders. Mm, thank you, Stampede. Yeah, they're pretty much all car ones. Not all of them, but the vast majority, because they're from a car combat game. He was reading the manual, yeah. Hey, we got more outfits. We have four different outfits for this character. Let's take a look. Let's suit up for the next mission. The Bone Crusher! We have a maxed out weapon! Oh, our generals leveled up to majors. Now we can have seven of them. Save the game. Yes, sir. Way, the final act, the end of the three kingdoms. We've already taken out one of them. Let's go get the other one. Is everything all right? I was gazing out at the lake. Could it be that one day the world will be as peaceful as this? That day will come soon enough. Do not forget, that is the reason we have come. To vanquish the kingdom of Wu. This is how people talk? Yes. To end the turmoil, I shall play the villain a while longer. Soon John, prepare to meet your doom! Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good timing, chat. Wei prepares for the final battle against Wu. The victory at Chibi was meant to be definitive, but the Wu force is proving more resilient than anticipated. They are, in fact, waiting for a chance to redeem themselves after the last defeat. 
Just then, a defector from Wu emerges, offering to lead the attack into Wu territory. Furthermore, Wu spies are frequently being spotted around Fawn Castle. Tensions ran high as the time for battle drew near. Cao Cao decides upon Heifei as the site for his main camp and leads a large army out of Xuchong. However, the possibility of a counterattack could not be ignored. While keeping an eye on the Wu forces, they head towards Heifei. A slight air of apprehension had permeated Cao Cao's ranks. Mm. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna crit path Heifei. Even though it looks like there's extra shit we can do. We've already been streaming for five hours. We gotta end this thing. So let's do it. But first! Let me see these outfits we got. Oh, look at my boy. He's so big and round. Ooh. I like this one. He's got a hoodie! What do you mean I got a 200 AD hoodie? Dude, that's sick. That's pretty cool. That's the one right there. <laughs> that's the one for me. Alright, defeat Sunjian, protect Cao Cao. That's easy enough. Weapon info, yeah. So now we finally have all of our combo strings. We have all six attacks. Equip item. We never did get a harness for a horse. At no point have we been able to equip a horse. I guess that is how it goes. I want to re-equip my poison orb, though. And then let's go... Let's go character speed as well. What do I have? Life, attack... Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta go speed. Make him a tiny bit faster. Set bodyguards. We have Vigo! <laughs> crossbow! Okay. We've unlocked crossbowmen. We now have seven of them. I like the way this is shaping up. Let's go conquer those three kingdoms, shall we? Cannot let Hefei fall into the hands of Wu. Protect it at all costs. You got it, boss. Here I go. Please cross the Shaoxi Bridge and move to the beyond the opposite river. <laughs> oh my God! What is that? <laughs> what was that technique? I can't turn while I'm doing it, though, so I need to make sure I'm already facing the right way when I do the move. Yeah, a lot of heat coming. What if Shu Zhu could BLJ in this game? It'd be a hell of a lot faster than the way we're currently getting around. Which is just rolling every so often. And it'd be a lot faster than horses too, so I'd be fine with that. Wu's forces of morale is rising! Never mind, we killed a guy, it should go right back down. Who are you? Who the hell are you? You're not even holding a weapon. Get back here. You're weird. He's a bombardier. I see. I see. You're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, was that him? Was that John Bomberman himself? Juron. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, Simi. It looks like you can just jump it. I... It looks like you can just jump it, bro. It's not that big. It's fine. It's alright. It's not a problem. Wouldn't mind grabbing one on Steam. I would probably sooner recommend 8 than 9. 9 goes for a weird, like, open world thing. And while I'm probably fine with it if I play it, I haven't. Uh, your mileage may vary on that one, whereas Dynasty Warriors 8 is very much the logical extreme of what we're looking at right now. I'm going to grab you. Come here. Don't you run from me. Blast. No matter. With chaos comes danger. We have overcome worse. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the Orochi games, they're great! Warriors Orochi 2, in particular, is a big favorite of mine. Because it's a cross-section of Dynasty Warriors 5, which is my favorite one, and Samurai Warriors 2, which is my favorite one. And it's got Sun Wukong in it, who's fast as fuck! Hmm. It is all the things the streamer likes. Imagine an India Muso. You had, did you see the Don Two stream? That was a Muso in in a way. <laughs> Hanuman, that was kind of a muso when you think about it. Actually, don't think about it. This is a funky riff I'm hearing in the background. Although this game does tr suffer from, like, tragically quiet music. I'll never stop. Never stop, boss. You can't stop me. Overextending. <laughs> control myself. Nah, I'm going straight in to the enemy camp. Oh, my boy! God dang, you're so cool! <laughs> Chandra Gupta! Imagine if I would have gotten a proper Dynasty Warriors type video game. Chandra Gupta, depending on how you look at it, is also a Muso. That was my, that was my favorite character that we just saw briefly. Gan Ning, he's just the coolest. Does anyone play these games as intended? Do you mean like staying with your team and pushing slowly? That is kind of how you have to play the first two. The first two meaning Dynasty Warriors 2 and 3. You kind of have to stay with your boys because if you don't, you are going to die. Starting from about this point, though, it seems like you can get away with overextending as long as you're smart about it. Which is, you know, good. 
it means that if you game, you can play it how you want. <laughs> As long as you game super hard. I'm just gonna lay here. I'm just gonna lay here. What are you gonna do about it? I'm just napping, bro. This doesn't look good. Ooh. You're in too deep. Control yourself. <laughs> just in, like, like my crossbowmen are just shooting him. This poor guy. Yeah, we're just chilling to build meter. Well, I don't know what it is, but Shu Zhu, when he does his Muso attack, it puts him into this, like, knockdown state. And for whatever reason, they don't even try to OTG him. They don't even try. Which is great news. Means we can get away with murder. Whoa, what a fireball. The enemy's strong. We have to fight harder. That was odd, but I'll take it. Yeah, he just healed. You're strong, but do not falter. Don't you worry, boss. No faltering here. Oh, you fool. You should not have turned your back. You'll get unblockable, the idiot. Whoa, hello. Gotcha. Okay. We got eight defense for that. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. Yeah, we're getting some good crossbow assist from our friends here. We have seven crossbowmen to back us up. That's pretty substantial. There are no officers here. Where are the officers? They're in the middle. We're gonna, I guess we're going to advance into the center, then. Yeah, they seem pretty capable now, especially. At the start of the game, they just kind of immediately ate shit. Although, could be because they were trying to fight the likes of Lu Bu. Now that they've been leveling up for the entire length of a campaign, they're putting in more than their fair share of work. They've already bailed me out of trouble just by, you know, applying hits done at crucial moments. Yo, Bibiano Beats! Thank you for the 43 whole years. Well, we're back to this game again. This is the part where we lay down for a while. Oh, big. Yo, Sticks! Thank you for the two whole years.
Alright, we got him. Taishi Chi was in uh, Dynasty Warriors 1. One of the few characters that's been there since the beginning. Did he ever get a proper bowling ball move? What do you mean? We have one! <laughs> the enemy is strong. Exercise caution. What was Ty's weapon? He had the two, like, sticks. They weren't swords, per se. They were, like, metal... sticks. I don't know how else to describe it. The stat drops are permanent, yes. Unless it says that it's, like, you know, attack times two for 30 seconds. Yeah, they were more rods than they were tonfas. No, Sunsei is who they gave tonfas. He's also very cool. Dynasty Warriors 5. I think he was voiced by Yuri Lowenthal in that game, too. As long as there's no archers nearby, <laughs> we shouldn't be in any immediate danger. Yeah, they're just straight sticks. They're just metal sticks. That's so much damage. Whoa, hello! This motherfucker healed himself! Die. <laughs> Ling Tong! Wait, he's not playable yet. <laughs> yeah, he's just a generic guy right now. He's not a real boy yet. He's a he's a normal boy. Yeah, he's the nunchucks guy. Just gonna lay here. Don't mind me. He was first playable in the next game. Because if he's not playable here, then it must be. Because I do remember him. Him and God Ning, uh, kind of got along to some degree. We have a lot of enemy officers going up that east side, so we need to chase after them. They kind of got along. Sort of. This is a bad place to be, Jesus Christ! Just let me open these, please. Thank you. Be out of your hair. All this red on the map. I'm gonna pretend I do not see it and focus on the officers. Yeah, your retainers can be knocked out. If they die, they do come back next mission, but they are gone for the remainder of this one. Rome Muso with playable Jesus. There's a... Uh, I think Warriors Orochi 3 had some crossover characters from one of their other games who's from Rome, I think. I know that, like, Achilles is in that game, right? I didn't imagine that. Where are the reinforcements? Ah! 
Okay. Things are getting done, which is nice. We're constantly at death's door, but... War is heck, after all. Sunjian. Am I in the main base? Have I stumbled into the main... Oh, I have. Interesting. <laughs> How do I keep doing that? How do I keep stumbling into the main base? <laughs> that is not my intention. <laughs> yeah, we just wandered in. I mean, it fits with the character, at least. He does seem like he would wander around in search of food. And to be fair, that's what we've been doing for most of the day. Our life will be tragically low and we'll be like, where's the fucking meat buns? Let's go look around. I have borne witness to your strength. That ended up pretty easy, actually. Once we leveled him up, it got real easy. It was just that early bit that was a big problem. Got exponentially easier as we went. Level 15 Tiger Amulet. Oh, Bone Crusher, even better. The end of the Three Kingdoms. After gathering its forces at Heifei Castle, the Wei forces are attacked by Sun Jian in an effort to prevent Wei from invading Wu territory. However, the Wei forces rout the desperate Wu troops and force them to retreat. Soon Jian and his troops retreat behind the walls of their capital, Jian Yi, and await the inevitable invasion by the Wei forces. Meanwhile, the Wei army crosses the Changjiang and arrives at Jiangdong. If the Wei forces can be defeated here, or if the Wu forces can be defeated here at Cao Cao's total conquest would almost be at hand. No, it looks like we gotta do both. Alright, let's go then. Bring ruin to the Soon family, is what it says. How hard could that be? We got one more to do. Let's go do it. We got a really good attack boost upgrade. Look at that attack meter. We have a very short Muso gauge and a very, very long attack gauge bottom left corner. <laughs> Yeah. It's no wonder we killed him in, like, two combos. Have I been liking the music? The music is great in every Musou game. The Musou gauge, it increases the length of it. Which is actually not as helpful as you might think. I would prefer to get a really short gauge that I can activate more times than a longer one that lets me activate less times. It's a long move, so... Yeah, I don't know. I would prefer to keep it as short as possible. That way, whenever I need them, I've got iframes on demand. Yeah, this game's got co-op. Pretty much all of them do. I'm sure there's exceptions, but most of them...
Jesus Christ, the damage. It's time to go on an officer killing spree. We're gonna crit path this. No, he's over here. Oh, <gasps> clones! What's going on here? Which one's the real one? Quick, ask him a question only the real one would be able to answer. So we're gonna try and crit path all the enemy officers while running straight up the middle, like a fool. Oh, I'm being chased by a fake Sunjian. Are we not too far out? No, sir. Yeah, I thought he was dead. Maybe he's not dead. It's unclear. Ow. Rude. Ow. Ow. Yeah, if this were the real one, he would not be dying nearly as quickly. You're also good at blocking. Uh oh, he input red. <laughs> we can't grab. Sorry, we got him. Bonk. Full recovery. Let's fucking go, dude. We must not fall behind. Here I am. I don't believe you. Soon John's in the rear of the main camp. Is that true? Is that the real one? I feel like that one's probably the real one. Way the fuck back there. Alright. I suppose we'd better go handle that. We do lose if Tsao Tsao dies. Yeah, he revealed himself after we defeated one clone. Seems a little premature. Of course, this could just be layer two of his clones. We don't know. Let's go kill this clone back here. That way we don't have to worry about Sao Tso dying to some bullshit. I should have nabbed a horse, is what I should have done. Shuge Jin! I'm going to steal your horse on the way back. Ah. He does roll really well. I find that the rounder you are, the better you roll. And really, he's been preparing for this his whole life. All you need to do is be Orbular. And you can roll good. <laughs> yeah, orbulent. <laughs> oh god. That was a lot of damage. Here I go, laying on the ground again. It's just the best way to build meter. <laughs> I got shot by one of my crossbowmen. He's getting Swiss cheesed over here. Yeah, that very nearly almost killed us. We I framed it at the last second, but it was close.
Hey, can you, like, leave my bodyguard alone? Can you stop chasing my son, Arnold, please? I'll fight you. Oh, God. Okay, we got him. That definitely wasn't the real one. Or else the mission would be over. But at least now we don't have to worry about losing. Wait. Grab the horse, you fool. Hello. Please consider. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the joke. Ah, okay. Consider it considered. I'll consider considering... what you want me to consider. But that's all I can do. I can't make any promises. It's just considered. Thank you for the 100 considerations. Does this word sound fake yet? <laughs> yeah, I think the horse is gone. I don't see it. That's okay. Check this out. There's going to be a speed up in this box. Never mind, it was all meat buns. I lied. A fibber. I guess we just go straight down the middle. The best way to end this war is to initiate all the conflict by going straight down the middle. Yo, Musashi! Found some bits in the couch with Cheeto dust on it. <laughs> it's not the Cheeto dust bits. Thank you for the 330 Cheeto dusts. <laughs> no, that's the best part, Raycat. What do you mean? You can put the Cheeto dust anywhere and save it for later, dude. That's the meta. What is this, amateur hour? <laughs> did one guy just throw a bomb at me? I forgot he did that. It's been brining in the Cheeto dust. <laughs> That's horrible. That's a horrible visual and mental image. We must not fall behind. I can't think of many good applications that I would use for the word brining. To battle, the Soon family shall now rise to the heavens. All Wu Castle gates have been open. I'm going straight for him. Stop me if you dare. You'll have to catch me first, soon, say. <laughs> Why is everyone in full armor and the women, uh, the woman with chakrams is just in gym gear? Well, you see, there's no way to answer this question delicately. So I'm just going to let that trail off. It looks like Cao Cao is under attack, but we're also attacking their main guy. So I guess it's just, let's see who dies first. I bet I can kill Soon Jian before you guys killed Cao Cao.
<laughs> Shuju is in full armor. Do you understand how many attacks will bounce off of these jelly rolls, dude? He doesn't need to wear armor. He's got... He's already... He reflects 50% damage, just naturally. This motherfucker keeps healing! <laughs> Somehow I killed Sunsei. That was an accident, but I'll take it. That's pretty impressive. We better pull back. Whoa. Give me this. Give me this. I'm gonna wait till you press a button and I'm gonna moose so through it. Gotcha! The Soon family will prevail. I don't think that's true. I don't think that ended up being true. Is the mission not over? Have we not? Let us go as well. Are we still going? Started, ah, I see. Soon Say's forces have appeared. I suppose it did say to ruin the entire Soon family, didn't it? In that case. We gotta go babysit Sao Sao again real quick to make sure that he doesn't die. Because they are clearly gunning for him in the center of the map. <laughs> See me? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I keep getting my, my, my leaders mixed up. We got to, uh... Gonna have to be quick about this. Shotai! Yeah, let's go. I am Shotai. All day, baby. Let's do this duel. So you wanna play? Hell yes, I do. What if we let Sima Yi die? Uh, it's the good end. <laughs> wow, nice anti-air. Whoa, what a parry! What? It seems like I'm not supposed to be tangling with you right now. So I guess I'm gonna jump up and down. Got him, nice! The end. I actually really like this game mechanic. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I smashed him. <laughs> Archers. As far as the eye can see. Wait a minute, South South's still here. He's alive after all. There he is. <laughs> we revived him, clearly. I thought he was definitely dead at this point, right? Are we are we fan fiction right now? I thought for sure he was dead by this point in history. Well, I guess we'd better take care of her as well. Is 
seen the Quan Chi fatality, I haven't. But then... I tend not to play Mortal Kombat for the fatalities, as weird as that sounds. Yeah, the next stretch, that's the best one. Holy shit! Ooh. Nice juggle. I'll take it. Alright, back to the middle. She's doing strings! What else do we got around here? These are all just troops. No officers here. What would one of my picks for the next MK1 pack be? Uh, you mean like character? The only character that I would prefer be playable that currently isn't is Striker. Striker is uh, who I played in Mortal Kombat 3. He's who I played in Mortal Kombat 9. And I don't think he's been playable since. It's been a while. <laughs> What's up, Cynical Razor? Yes, sir. I don't know. There is something appealing to me about Striker because you have this world where everyone has, like, crazy, high-powered, magical bullshit, right? And he's just a guy with a gun. And it's just really funny to me. <laughs> I need to find a crate, like, ASAP. If I get tagged now, I'm probably gonna get caught in a combo and just die. Let me check the other side of this wall. Okay. We cannot hold them. Sure you can. Believe in yourself. You're the leader. I shouldn't have to pep you up. That's not good casting. Ah, that'll do. Alright, we're living. What is going on? Are y'all on the walls? Where are you? How did the fight spill up here? <laughs> yeah, they, they're, I don't know how we got up the stairs. Somehow the fight spilled up here. Woo Forest's morale is rising. I just killed Taishi G, though. I'm sure it's fine. Please. Please. Allow me to. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. It's all I wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. Thank you. Yeah, I know. We're getting fucking Donovan down here. It's rough, dude. Main camp is under attack. I think... I think you'll be okay. I don't think you got much to worry about, friend. If anything, I think I got a lot to worry about. I'm the one fighting him over here. Oh, 
Oh, baby. We're in. Oh, baby. We're not in. What an input read. I got you isolated, friend. What are you going to do about all these crossbowmen? Ow. Do not bully my son. Leave him alone. All right, he's dead. I'm a little lightheaded. <laughs> His tummy hurt, dude. Let us go as well. Father, brother, I shall continue your fight. Oh, for fuck's sake. This bloodline never ends. He die of tummy ache rip. Yeah, the soon bloodline, it just never ends. We gotta kill all of them. Hey, wait a minute. I'm in the red. That sounds bad, but I'm in that really high part of the red. We're in that sweet spot where we get recharging Muso and enough health to survive a few hits. This is exactly on the life bar where you want to be. This does not look good. At least we're surrounded by allied units, generally. Yeah, you can, you can just lay down as shoes you. Look at all that meter we're building. We can just lay here. They don't have any OTGs. Is there an item that gives us true moves? So there probably is, but we ain't found one. I know that that's a thing in 5, certainly. I couldn't tell you for sure if that's in this but I'm willing to believe it is. And unfortunately, we ain't found one. You seem a little outnumbered, friend. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'll iframe that. <gasps> okay, I rescued my guy. I rescued him. This is going to clash, isn't it? Yep. You'll get flattened, idiot. Father. Brother. Forgive me. Wowie, wowie, zowie! I won't be defeated easily. I thought we had already killed her. We definitely killed her earlier. She's just back. It's fine. Whoa! Hello. Yeah, she just, like, respawned somehow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Not the first character we've seen do that today. That did not quite work the way I had envisioned it. As long as I lay down on the ground perfectly still, they'll think that I'm dead. Right? We're playing the long game.
<gasps> Meat bun! Mine! Oh, baby. We're so back. It's a little hard to tell where my target is in all this mess. I'm just gonna charge meter over here. Have fun, miss. I got scared, I won't lie. <laughs> I saw her running straight at me. I'm like, I can't lose this deep into this mission. It's definitely a panic boo, so. We're, we're too deep into this one to lose now. We gotta play this safe. There we go. Finally! The entire Soon bloodline is defeated. <laughs> yeah, the surprise fifth family member. That was like the mission that never ends. That one just kept going. It only took 24 minutes, but for some reason it felt like an eternity. Oh, I think we maxed out our Bone Crusher, yes! We have achieved maximum Bone Crushing. Excellent. Bodyguards have leveled up as well. They seem very capable. Their stats are so good. I right, turn that up. How the hell did Sao Sao survive? Isn't he supposed to die like halfway through this arc? Then again, I suppose Shu Zhu is the same way. Zhang Zhao, the founder of the Way of Peace, led his yellow turbans in an armed rebellion. Cao Cao joined the task force against the yellow turbans and by quelling uprisings was revered as a hero. In the wake of the yellow turban rebellion, Dong Zhuo seized power. Cao Cao organized an allied force to depose him. They penetrated Shui Gate and after effectively foiling Lu Bu, they thwarted Dong Zhuo as well. Cao Cao gained power after becoming the protectorate of the emperor. And then Xu Yuan Shao got really salty. Cao Cao secured the rear guard and faced off against Yuan Shao. He turned out to be a jobber and was easily defeated. <laughs> 
Yeah, slow down. I can't write this down. This will all be on the test. Don't worry. So yeah, this game is very good. This is... I thought that Dynasty Warriors 5 was the first one where you can pretty much run straight into danger and not feel super worried. But no, it's this one. This is the first one where you can really just kind of run up in there, and as long as you game good, you'll be just fine. Dynasty Warriors 2 and 3, that is absolutely not the case. You will get shredded in mere moments. This one, though? Not so bad. We were playing a character who can just lame it out. That is true. That's a good point. Quoth the historians... done it. We've cleared one route of this at minimum three route video game. Look at those branching paths! <laughs> I think all those little side paths are like extra missions because we did like one of the way tales earlier and I guess we missed like most of them so there's some replay value here. It accredits music. I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah, very tiny credits. Why is it so small over there? That's probably an emulation problem. It's much funnier this way, though. can't see it, but I'm doing the emote with the vibing bunny with my hands. Well, now we've got no credits either. Now we've just got a black screen. The credits are just gone. I guess this is where we live now. <laughs> the credits machine broke. That's all right. Happens to the best of us. It's actually really funny, because up till that point, we hadn't noticed any emulation issues. Obviously, that credits is not supposed to be that way. Everything up to that point worked. It's really funny that it's just the credits. <laughs> all right. Let's get the hell up out of here, gamers. We've been streaming for about six hours. We've completed the video game. The next time we do one of these, it'll probably be Samurai Warriors 1. Because we're going to just... I guess we're going to do these in roughly chronological order. Probably going to do Samurai Warriors 1 next time we're in a Musou mood. Next time on this show, though, it's probably going to be some Christmassy games. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas time. And we ain't played no Christmas games yet, so don't you worry. That's the plan next week. 
So thank you everyone that tuned in. Thank you everyone who stuck you. around. Thank you for thank you. raiding and subscribing and all that good stuff. I will figure it out. I'll figure out what to do. Yeah, we could probably the do the bouncer. Grinch. Maybe some other dank-ass Christmassy stuff. I'll figure it out. Let's see. Gary's playing Persona 5 Tactica. It is his favorite game. Uh, I'm gonna raid Gary. Uh, raid Zizix underscore. He loves Persona. Uh, the raid message is we love Persona in all caps. We uh, we love Persona. It's the best thing. And we're gonna is in solidarity with Gary, who also loves Persona. Anyway, see you all on Monday. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.